I've been telling you guys time and time again, carnivore is the way to go. And now you can try yourself for free. That's right, guys. Get four carnivore samples free. We got chocolate, my personal favorite, fruity cereal, Frankie's favorite, rocket pop, and cinnamon toast cereal. Oh, and don't forget, you'll get a free Milk is for Baby shaker. All you have to do is pay for shipping. You get your four free samples. Try it today and bulk up tomorrow. Let's go. Real show. Here we go. Real show. Here we go. You know that it's got to be that time. So this is what we chant. What keeps on getting them all amped in advance. Come on. You and I rocking out with Iron Man F.E. You get the general's point of view on top of Roger's rants. Whenever it's happening out, we're putting the most minutes in. You already know what that's about. You know that win is win. Crush whatever's on task. Check the podcast. It's the champ and the tramp. Let the ball blast. Some got into I didn't you. Say you. I didn't say oh, you. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> oh, you were All right, addressing well, me. What's up, everybody? Roger, you're wearing, I said he's wearing athletic pants, and I was wondering if he runs. He says he no, he does not run. Does any big and, guy run? No, I don't. I, I don't. I'm not saying you should run. I don't think. It's, I don't think it's I, good. I think it's tough for big. I mean, it's tough for me to run. I can't. Like my hip, my back. I, I mean, I could run you like pussy in your crack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh, that was like thirty seconds in, Roger. I know I dropped yeah, a I yeah. dropped a swear word. Sorry, we can um, beep that out. But uh, try not to swear. Try not to swear in the first two minutes. I like mm-hmm. it. Um, Frank is usually the f bomb king. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I'm cutting you off, pal. Go ahead. When's the last time I ran? But yeah, yeah. I mean, I know. I'm saying, I, like, I could uh, like two miles is kind of my max. So what I do is I run, I'll run, and then I'll do a circuit, then I'll run, then I'll do a circuit, then I'll run. So that's how I can get my mileage in a little bit. Um, uh, but I'm saying for for you, I get it. For big guys, it's tough. Uh, I think definitely beat your body up. Yeah. Someone as big as yourself. But what about sprinting? They say, I mean, I think sprinting is, is uh, something you should do. 30 seconds. 30. Yeah, even start with 10 first. I, I, remember, I actually remember. Roger might have a fucking heart attack. Actually, we need him here. We need him on the couch. <laughs> I actually remember the last time I sprinted. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, I raced Danielle on the beach because she swore she could oh, beat shit. me. Did you beat her? And I beat her, but we sprinted Was maybe close? like five or six times. Oh, she took off out the gate and left me in the dust. Wow. She weighs 100 pounds, and she's been an athlete her whole life. So I'm yeah. like, you know, she was a gymnast, softball player, and she was she's very confident, very competitive, right? True. So she takes off out the gate and, like, leaves me in the dust. And you're not this, so confident. Well, no, taking off the line. I'm a, I'm like a fucking heavy locomotive, but once this, <laughs> once this bitch gets moving. You're like old, I fucking, old Monte Carlo. I went sailing right past her, but it takes, oh, takes, yeah. takes a while to get, get up to speed. So, like, how, you know, how like, what would you say the? distance of the sprint was uh, 100 yards, 100 yards maybe oh, 100? 100 yards maybe 50 yards maybe no, no football no, field's 150 yeah pro- no maybe oh, f- over half a football field I half would say. Football? you okay, think so over half yeah you think yeah. so you where was this feet. race where was it uh level at beach the beach you so you ran on the beach barefoot yeah. bro on sand mm-hmm. 50 yards uh, you, all right, I'll go with 50. 50. Because I'd, I'd, I'd be exaggerating if I said it was a football field. So 50. Yeah. On the soft sand? Yeah, like four times. And I was beat afterwards. But dead, right? I beat her every time. So Dead? I was dead. But listen, <laughs> I went out for New Year's Eve because I didn't have the kids this year. So you know, I would have been oh, here. Wait, let's go back to the spring. The well, I'm, I'm going to talk about like exercise. Like, okay. Got up Monday morning and I went hiking up in Rambo Valley. Probably hiked three miles up fucking hill like this. I and rocks that. and you know so like uh, i wasn't sitting home on the couch plus know? ecotherapy uh, i'm not saying no, got some that, exercise on I think monday that's good i think that's yeah. good for you too but i'm saying they say sprinting like spikes your testosterone and like dude and human growth and like w- by 700 ha- yeah yeah human growth right yeah. yeah and what what helps in life is like yo one day you might have to fucking sprint you're gonna go to sprint and you're not gonna be able to that's okay. the scary right. shit. Fair enough. But when are you sprinting? You sprint? Yeah, I do. When? Every warm up I do on a wrestling mat. It's not it's probably not long enough. I, I probably, As a coach, I, you're doing that? I warm up, yeah. Okay. So I sprint. I sprint today. All right. I, I sprint, sprint like twice how far? a week. How big is this wrestling mat? Like forty feet. Forty, 40 feet. yards. Right. No, no, maybe not forty yards. Uh no, it's like uh no. Probably hundred feet. So it's hundred feet. Ninety yards, thirty yards, forty yards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, about that. Here's what I do, yeah. right? Here's a good one. 30, 30 second sprints, right? Then minute walk, right? Or a light jog. And then do repeat that six times. 
We should that we, we should tough. say that to everybody that's watching. How about I have a, at home? How, oh, we got yeah. Mr. Jesse Holt in the house tonight. He's a, a longtime friend and a friend of the podcast. He's been on many times. He's everybody's favorite conspiracy theorist, and I'm sure <laughs> I saw a little notepad that he brought, so I'm sure we're going to hear some fascinating yeah. stuff Brought today. It. So prepare yourself, people, because it's going to be heavy. I do hill sprints, <laughs> though. Yeah. Hill sprints. I'll definitely do that. They I say they're actually better. the best. They're the best. That is, that, that, uh, yeah, I'm sure. What I hear, best, I'm sure. Because then you, I'll do a, you know, you don't have to go as long, but it's still 30 seconds because you're hitting with, you know, dealing with the incline. So my my thing is because you know I got a history with the back just like you do. Is if I ran, if I tried to do two miles, I could probably get it done, but I'd be hurting for the rest yeah, of the day. My yeah. low back would be. It's not really pain. It's just tightness. Like yeah, it, tight, yeah, it yeah. walks up where I can barely turn my, you know, I can't even do that. And it would be for the whole day. And I'd probably feel it the next day too. If I sprinted, I wouldn't have that. You know what you I mean? You wouldn't? So, no? No. Oh, well, maybe, I mean, if I sprinted a ton probably, yeah, but yeah, yeah. if I did, how many sprints do you do roughly when you're doing your 40 feet or whatever it is? I mean, six to 10. Yeah. I think I could yeah. do that and not be in excruciating pain because it's yeah. the distance. It's the repetitive you know, bam, 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 bam. Oh, 100%. Plus, I'm doing it on a mat, it makes my back helps. like super tight. Like I do it on a mat, it's probably yeah. good for you. Yeah, I'm sure. Better for then you. Barefoot makes... too. Barefoot, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that's better, I'm sure. Or wrestling shoes. It's fucking cold in the gym. I can't hate being barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> Isn't isn't a gym supposed to be like hot as fuck or uh, no? Yeah, it gets, I mean, but you're in there first thing in the morning. The gym's got to warm up, yeah. you know? I just remember, and, and Jesse can throw it back with this one because we went there together almost every day. When yep. we were training at Elite, I've never been in a more excruciating, humid, and hot environment than the oh, barn bro. in my life. And I loved it back then. I was yeah. like, I was just, you walk in there and you're dripping sweat before you even get on the bro, mat. the warm up was for what, like 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 15, 30 minutes? And like that, yeah. that would be. It me was up. excruciating. I remember the first man. time doing that. I'm like, mm. all right, well. It's done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're just getting sorted. <laughs> yeah. I have some great memories of that, man. I enjoyed that so much because uh, me too. That was, I mean, I would. You guys go back further than I do. You guys have been friends. I think I, you even introduced me to Frankie. But I was like a fanboy at that time. I was like training with my fucking hero. I mean, uh, I consider us friends too, but. I not like we are now, you know what I mean? Now I tell him go fuck himself. But back then I was like, dude, this is fu-. so I wasn't gonna be a pussy. I wasn't gonna be a wimp. I wasn't gonna. I was gonna like, you know. But you got to see what it was though yeah. too. Yeah. And that was intense training. Yeah. And that yeah. was with, with boys too. It that seemed was intense to me, but it seemed like a breeze to him. You know what I mean? Grew up in that shit. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was well, ready. Well, we uh, have to have a uh, little uh, comeback there, Rod. When, yeah, when, when, the, yeah. when we open the school, for sure. We should for all sure. do that. It's yeah. uh, coming. Game. I mean, what next Very month? Soon, maybe? I'm probably, Probably sign the lease the next couple days. Yeah. Good deal. Good yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. Heck and then once yeah. that's on, doors open, you go to work in there. Um, kind of. They just have to fix some units on the roof. So. Oh, still not done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. But yeah, we're very close. Exciting. Looking forward to it. A lot of people are though. Oh, a lot of I people know. want to go to your gym. I know tons of people. that are like, dude, text me the day it opens. I'll be there. A hundred percent. So I'm gonna do a little pre-sale. You know. Um, yeah. Should be cool. For sure. Pre-sale, like what? How? Like you could join the gym before it's open. Oh, okay, you heck know, yeah. Like a good little deal for the pre-sale. Yeah, 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 You get a lot of people in there. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's, that's the idea. Well, it's your hometown. Uh, yeah. A lot of people yeah. want to go in. People just want to train under a UFC champion. You know what I mean? Some of my boys want to come up and visit, right? Yeah. One of my boys from South Carolina does right. jiu-jitsu and wants to come up and visit right. just to train with him. Yeah. yeah. Well, just for that. For the I mean, over. there's some some great friends of the show, some great friends of ours personally. Dante, obviously. Tom DeBlas. Um, uh, God, what am I drawing a blank? Nick Catone. Nick Catone. Um, Ricardo Almeida. Rep- no, Point Pleasant. Uh, Kurt Pellegrino. Kurt Pellegrino. Um, all who have made UFC status, but f- I would say Frankie, you know, surpassed their, you know, where, where they where they went in their career in the UFC. So I, I mean, and their oh, that doesn't are, mean necessarily mean anything. But well, I think no, people it, join yeah. their gyms because uh, they yeah, have but a you name. know what? Maybe but they keep they keep their guys because of who They're they great are trainers, and their yeah. coaches. Yeah, of course, they are, of course, you know, and all that stuff. Of course, yeah, yeah. Well, and I'm sure you will too. But to yeah, get, yeah, you know, it helps. It helps. But hundred percent door. You know, I'm sure your name is attractive to a lot of people. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, no, I'm ex- I'm excited. I'm excited to share. I'm know. excited to see what happens in a couple years, two, three, four, five years in where you build the guys that can actually fight. They're, 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 then your then your your passion, right, that you had for you and the success you wanted to achieve, 
you kind of hand it on to these guys. You know what I mean? To see them make some success in the UFC. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, like I said, my, I kind of do that with my son right now with his career. Mm-hmm. My my oldest just did a JV match, p- packed the kid, first period. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah, nice. Um, but yeah, uh, that, that's what it's all about, you know, um, passing it on. And obviously, uh, this has been my life forever. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't really know anything else, so. Right. So I want to definitely have butter, a heavy, heavy kids program, too. I really think Tom's River could benefit from a big Absolutely. kids program for Absolutely. jiu-jitsu, even, even the Muay Thai stuff, even, even MMA stuff. Everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Yeah. hundred percent. No question. So, Jesse. What's up? You building a bunker yet? <laughs> I actually got I found out my neighbor builds bunkers. Wow. <laughs> So I don't I would, even know I that. Would, I would say Jesse's, in a, and I'll let him speak after this, but I would say he's very much in a, he's been in a couple year long, pro, pro, probably since 2020. I don't so know. So maybe, maybe four even, years? Maybe four years. He's been in a, in a transitional period where he's not the old Jesse at all. He's a completely different human than, than the Jesse. I, I mean, in, in his core, in his heart, he's the same guy. But as far as his outward expression and what he used to do and People used to hang out. Not people used to hang out with the places he used to go. The dude don't leave his house now. He's building, like Frankie said, he's probably building a bunker in his backyard. So uh, what, what's going on with you? What changed? I'm listening what to changed? Inner, nah, nothing changed. So the inner voice inside of me has. I keep telling me to prepare spiritually, right? And mm-hmm. that's what I've been doing. Diving deep in myself, healing all my traumas. I didn't realize how much traumas I had in my life, right? That mm. I kind of said I was healed from, but I really wasn't, mm-hmm. right? Like war and all that, right? That's a lot of things to deal with and i realized that i wasn't healed completely so then that what's called me to be kind of go off the grid in like a monk life right and that's where i've been mm-hmm. is diving deep into myself but all when i dive deep into myself during this time frame people have came to me to mentor them mm-hmm. with vets and then people outside of being a veterans right like uh i got like this 21 two 21 year old kids that i mentor but on a spiritual level, it's, it's much deeper than that. But the world's about to change. I'm telling you right now, mm. this whole world is about to change. Listen, listen. If you're, if you guys are all Jesse fans out there, and you've listened to every episode, this change <laughs> has been coming for, Yo, for, for real, quite though. some time. I'm with you. I'm with all you. Right? All right, all right. We're waiting you. for that change. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Listen, but, we 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 a couple times we yeah. held we held him to task and and held him was held his feet to the fire right and and made us give us dates like this is back in like 2020 when it first and he, happened and he yeah. gave a few dates and they didn't come to fruition and he said never again i'm not giving a date but you did make one prediction that in 2024 something has to go down well but you should say before 20 november of 2024 there will be no new election right that's what you're saying there will be no I, new president i don't know election. how this is going to play out right I know deeply in my soul that we're about to go through a major transformation, right? Mm-hmm. There's two different timelines. We have the negative timeline, right? The new world order, put you in smart cities, vax you up and do all these things, right? Control you on all aspects of life, right? Then you have the age of light, the age of love, the age of Aquarius. That's the age where I'm, that, that I feel like we're going to go to. Mm-hmm. There is two different timelines and you get, everybody can see that now playing out. Everybody knows. So there's no longer a conspiracy, right? So there's a split. There's a split. And you go, one goes one way, one goes the other. There's two different timelines. Well, look, kind of like there's a conspiracy side, right? Operation Looking Glass. Operation Looking Glass, can you see every quantum event playing out at once? And what is the path of least resistance, right? Mm-hmm. That's the path we're on, which we're going to bring heaven to earth, I'm telling you. I feel that. No, no, wait. Is this something that you want to happen? Uh, well, yeah, I want to. Right. Obviously, 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 I mean, obviously, obviously, something you want to happen, right? I do I mean, want to happen for, is, a hu- now, for now, the is kids. That why and, you're, is that why you think you're saying it's gonna happen? I prayed upon it, and like I had these, I had these feelings. I mean, Roger prayed that his little little <laughs> wink, winky would grow. And <laughs> <laughs> shit, he's he's still fucking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't know. I prayed to be it. five, six and a half. Listen, yeah. You send me those pictures late night, it grows a little bit. It grow a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but the white night threw me off. <laughs> no, I'm saying, um, you want it to be. You pray oh, I want to it. No, no. So I prayed up uh, so I prayed upon it. I have my I have my signs. I do. And it's like it's 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 non stop. I can't go the other way. I can't go backwards anymore. And that's why I kinda went mm. off the grid right now. To one, to work on myself, to work on all my vices. Instead of being living in the vices, I live in the virtues, right? But I'll be honest. Huh. I'm going to cut you off. Sorry. No. But since we've been having these podcast conversations, you don't really, I mean, these vices have been minimal, 
Right? Don't you agree? Uh, listen, no question Jesse's had vices in his life. There's no question, but I'm saying I since thought from an outsider looking in, right. I'm not yeah. him, yeah, they good. seem to be at bay and very minimal, and right. it was. nobody knows what's going I on internally. On before you know? that, but yeah. you're right. Yeah. yeah. But I, I just realized, like, me drinking... I would overly. I'm. I'm. A, I'm such an extremist. So when I do something, I'd go so hard, and then I pay for it. Mm. And it's like, I mean, it sets me. Well, I feel honest. My spiritual path. It was setting me back, mm. and that's what kept coming to me. Like you need to give it all up, bro, for a little bit, right? Really get in tune with yourself. Re and then that's when I, when, you know, when I started like when I gave everything up and like I fully, I started seeing signs every day, miracles. Like, it, it, it might sound crazy to other people, just like. Animals coming by me, feathers on my path every day, synchronicities that you can't even make up that were aligning to other things to unfold. Where it was just it was like divine to me. It really was, and like that's what that's what led me to be like, all right, well, God, I see you. Let's go. And then that's why I wanted to level up more because like, but it was lonely. It was lonely. I'm not gonna lie. It was, it's a lonely path at first, but then it's magical, and then you understand like now I'm ready to come back out again as a real version of myself. Which I never, like you said, I never lost that. I'm still me. I just changed a little bit on the inside. They and say if you can be completely by yourself, alone, wherever you may be. I mean, yeah, I've been off the grid for a year. By yourself, with just your own thoughts and just you, no distractions, no human, and you're truly happy. You like yourself as a person. That's so. what happened. Yeah. Mm. And that was that. You know, that was difficult. Mm. I didn't think it was right because it is. I I had like the FOMO, the the fear of missing out. Right, and, like mm. I miss going out and partying with you guys and have a good time. But like my, like I said, the inner me kept saying, just chill. Be by yourself. I mean, listen, bro. I'm 48. I got two kids. It's pretty rare I go out and party, but maybe once, one day a month I'll get out with a girl or something. And I do miss you very much because and and everybody does. It's not just me. Yeah. At all everybody's like, where's Jesse? It sucks. He's you know, but I mean, but I get it. And and you you chose a path, right? You chose. See, I thought I was like, well, he can come. I even said to you because I'm I I bro, I loved our late George trips together, and you didn't come this year. And I even said to you. And I meant it. You, I, was I like, know you did. I was like, bro, I won't go out. I know you meant I, it. I'll stay home with you if you come. Yeah. We'll make it a more of a motorcycle riding thing than a going out with the boys. The other guys could have gone out. I would have 100% stayed home, but I you believed, opted yeah. not to because I think you don't fully trust yourself. And you're like, I don't. Yeah. So I didn't. Yep. <clears throat> Sound like you said a motorsucker. Motors <laughs> motorcycle. <laughs> motorcycle. It sucks on motors. <laughs> <laughs> Only but no, I just that. I just know myself, and every time I went up there, I blacked out. I was wild, yeah. like not a bad way, right? Like, yeah, a little uncontrollable sometimes, I mean, right? Yeah. But you're you're not being hurt, nobody, right? No, but it's yeah. just so then what, what's so bad that me poisoning myself, your, your and, body. I mean, you felt like shit afterwards. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then I just well, they say you burn yeah, up yeah. your endorphins, right? So the next day is always kind of like a miserable one or a more miserable one, right? A couple days after. Yeah. That. I'll tell you what, these past New Year's Eves, I I kind of took it nice, and it's the next day is awesome yeah <laughs> you know you cru you cruise through it you yeah i'm so fine i'm 100 percent fine cleaning yeah. up my house and yeah. I'm, I'm chilling yeah it's, it's definitely worth it to not get yeah. too bad with excess up, I, didn't I, get, didn't I didn't have that chill i didn't get banged up for right. new year's i went hiking the next day so i mean i i had enough but i never get you know i see you drinking from the stream <laughs> get smashed because i hate the look yeah, no. can't stand being around smashed drunk people that act obnoxious yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm never gonna be that guy so i never get smashed but I, I can't drink to excess at times. I didn't do that this you New Year's. You control yourself. Yeah. You had that control. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I never, I mean, I've definitely been banged up, and I'm like never, ever. A wreck. A wreck, yeah. for the most part. If, if you, you won't, uh, I might be, but you, I'm not showing it. It's just <laughs> not know? a good look. Everybody remembers it. Yeah. Like, dude, like, I always tell like, my kids, like, I'm like, Bro, so, so much said, like man. daddy drinks or something. <laughs> Yeah, but you're you, listen. You listen. You bear. I'm not gonna say that you aren't a fucking absolute hammered mess, but you're fun. You're never you're never vulgar. You're never looking for a brawl. You're never. That's you're, the you're just, you're but just you just fun. can't understand you know what, what you're you saying. You can't. You can't. <laughs> Jesse does this yep. thing where he drinks whatever it, uh, hard stuff. He does. He's not a beer drinker. It used to be vodka. Then he switched to tequila, and it would be one drink he he start you know the big blue eyes and the smile and the <laughs> talking to girls and knows everybody when you go out everybody knows Jesse two drinks maybe getting a little wiggle going having a good time three drinks like really being talkative four drinks you can't even understand him it goes straight to mumble and four oh drinks God, you're so right bro it does it's not me dude it's one time we I'm were bad. at he's, what he just talked about uber we were at um, Jack's. Jack's, just me and him. It was the summer I got divorced, so I was going out a lot, right? 
And Jesse was always my wingman. We always had a good time. <laughs> always had fun. Never, never anything to excess. Never got in trouble. Nothing like that. But just having fun. We're there, and um, he's like, uh, he was hammered. So I'm like, let's go, bro. It was, I think it was a Thursday night, so I had to work the next day. Maybe one in the morning. I'm like, let's go. I was like, I got the Uber here. Grab one on the way back, right? He's like, all right, all right. And he's 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 on his phone, and he's like, yeah, it's ordered. I'm like, all right, let's go outside and wait for it, you know? Standing outside, people are coming out. We're talking. I'm like, dude, when, <laughs> when's this Uber going to be here? He's like, uh, he's like, I ordered the Uber, and I look, I'm like, show me. I look at his phone, and you, you were on Google Maps <laughs> typing in Uber, Y-U-B-E-R. And I'm like, bro, you're not even on the fucking app. He's like, no, no, I ordered it. I'm like, bro, you're not even on the Uber app. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. See? Mm. That's how bad I get. Yeah. I'm just yeah. nuts, yo. And I know I'm nuts. <laughs> but like now in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> how to control that craziness. Yeah. I, uh, I'm not good. I'm not like that. Yeah, you're you not, guys no. are both in control. Mm-hmm. No. I like to lose control I'll wild sometimes. out, but never like crazy. Yeah, no, I will. I never But you know crazy. why? The other reason I realized why I wild out, because I was always with people I knew, like my boys, right? Like, yeah. I could always trust them. Like, that's why I could let go so much where I, I wasn't worried about anything. I knew I'd be good the no matter what. The worst I've ever right, seen right, you, right. Frankie, was when we went to dinner. A bunch of us went to dinner. Um, and I don't think it was alcohol, but you were just out of it. We went to um, Butcher Block mm. years ago. Remember? It was like a boys' dinner. And you were yeah. just out of it. You were like staring at your food, like, ah, rah. Yeah, I was banged up. I was banged up. I was banged up. I was about, I, I, yeah, I ate too many gum, gummies, I think. Oh, shit. Ate yeah. too many gummies. And yeah. someone had, someone brought whiskey or something. That was before they had mm-hmm. that, the yeah, liquor license. You, me, Todd, Bulldog, Tommy. I th- were you there? I think you were no, there. No, you weren't there? I haven't done it in a. Mm. Dulcie. Dulcie, I think, was there. Dulcie. Yeah. We went to that hotel that just opened before that on the beach. Remember? Forget the name of it. Yeah, yeah, I do. I don't remember it either. <laughs> <laughs> don't remember it either. So, um, do you have any new predictions for us, or you're not going to predict anything? You just oh, this is the year. Yeah, but what? For the sure. year for, of what? <sighs> so much. I don't know how this is going to play out, but I know. But right? the year, okay, okay. At so, the end of the year, yeah. So it has to play out where does our current legal system our current judicial system everything's gonna collapse they does anybody get prosecuted and actually go okay. to jail and do yeah. time Epstein, i, I believe epstein's list will come out i yeah, believe well, supposedly supposed already, some of it's supposedly out supposedly already no, came no, what, out. what's out though what you sent me today was the flight log flight that's flight been out. that came that's out in 2020 now it's yeah. becoming public yeah. though yeah that was, no no but now it's supposed to be his client list or something right no it was the flight log but i think it's an extend extension that wasn't mm. that was all that, truth would be revealed came out in 2021 so, but all truth will be revealed. There are some names that they're not putting on there. I don't know why. Why wouldn't all as names of right come now? Out? You see, this is Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, McAfee, right? He was he was talking about Jimmy Kimmel. He's like, yeah, Jimmy Kimmel might be worried. <laughs> 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 why? Yeah, he was on it. Mm. That's what he's mm. implying. Bro, there's least. so many. There's presidents on it, bro. There's like the fact that we're living in this little clown show. I know, but it's Trump, a clown show. Trump was listed on the flight. Yeah, that's, what, that's it, what people are saying. It doesn't mean that he went to the island, but, but also, that's, but that's also crazy. doesn't mean that Bill Clinton went to the island. They were just on 26 the times, though, plane. Clinton. Clinton. Was it 26? I, I read, believe so, I read nine, oh, and Trump okay. was seven, yeah, Roger, Roger but it was 93 it. through 96, and it doesn't say the destination. So, so at, on the... One, I believe all truth will be revealed, right? Mm-hmm. Two, they say some good guys are going to be bad, some bad guys are going to be good, right? The end's not for all. Mm. We're, we're coming to the end of this this whole so apocalypse, right? The revelations of the Bible and all that, right? The Hopi Indians, they all predict this one time, right? I believe that's wow. what we're in right now, well, right? So, so then we're all going to either... No, no, we're not. We're not dying. Well, that's what the revelation. I know, is. but that's that's not what I believe. Explain the explain your uh, to the to, to. I mean, I've heard it before, but to the best of your ability. Moving into the fifth dimension. Move, so that's kind of like, so that's Earth's frequency, right? So the Schumann resonance, right, goes off with the solar flares from the sun. So the solar flares from the sun have been releasing like X flares, right? That's what they're called. Um, which also enhances the Earth, which is enhancing us, right? On The, the same Earth th- actually gives off a frequency. A uh, frequency, right? right? So right. we're releasing positive ions in the Earth. Earth's replacing negative ions in us, right? Which balances our like, because we're electric. Mm. We're electric magnetic type of beings where we're so much more than what we were taught and we're all i'm telling you right now 
deep in my soul, we're all in the image of God. We're all here for a, a, a reason. Mm. And we need to step into that power. And that power is just tapping within. Mm. When you tap in and you operate out of your heart instead of your mind, control your mind because there's no death of the ego in my eyes. Mm. People are like, yo, you ever heard that, right? Death of the ego, kill the ego, this, that, the other thing. Yeah, you can't kill your ego. It's mm. a part of who we are as humans, right? Mm. It's making your ego work in um, coherence with your heart. Mm. So if you operate from the heart space, that's the true essence of life. And being like of service to others, right? Service to self and service to others right. the best you can because you reap what you sow in this world. And I've, re I've witnessed this in my life, right? On this whole spiritual journey, what you put out is what you get back. And that's why I was trying to tell people, like, if you can, it doesn't mean money, right? Mm -hmm. If you can hold the door open, um, there was a, all right, so there's like a cool thing, right? There's like near death experiences. Someone goes through a death, right? And like this one lady was going through it. And I, I went, I went through a whole th thing on it, right? She said what she thought God was going to judge her on, all these bad things that she did in life. It was nothing about that. It was all the things that she did to help out those around her. Even like, so the, the God like walked her through this whole event, right? Where she held a door open. She had a small conversation with this woman, never seen that woman ever again, right? That changed the directory to, uh, to, to directory of that woman for the rest of her life mm. on such a, a like positive scale. Yeah. And like that's what she, and she was in tears when she was telling the story. And I'm like, see that we think like we're going to be judged on like some, like just because of like what we did wrong, right? We always think about the negative, right? No, what did you do positive? Oh, I don't know, bro. <clears throat> you don't think so? Motherfuckers are getting judged for some negative well, shit they did, I well, promise you. I, no, 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 <laughs> that, that's true. But I'm just saying like the, in the small case of it yeah like she just thought like she was a good woman right but she did some bad things in life mm -hmm. she thought that that that's what god it was did doing. don't don't weigh only on the bad if yeah. you've done some good i guess right well there certainly are most most sins most bad deeds are forgivable right by I think you so. ask for forgiveness even by our peers even by by the judicial system if you make repentance in some way or you do your time but there are some deeds that aren't forgivable. I'll agree, there like the Epstein list. Yeah, that like that type of shit. So <laughs> ungodly, yeah. they are not forgivable you by anybody. You will reap what you sow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But mm -hmm. so like when we make the transition, right? That's about, that's what's happening, right? What, what I said, the two timelines going on. Uh, okay. Well, you were saying this, um, but you said before how... Um, there's gonna be this this whatever. It's gonna get it's gonna get worse before it gets better, right? It has to. Once all now, the is that comes why, out. now is that why these people you think all these elites are building bunkers? Yeah, that's why they know it's the end of their time. They I know, know it. Okay, so but so how's like, a they're, they're gonna hunt, yeah, if, this is, if yeah. this is a holy sort of well, cleansing, then, so the other timeline bunker does nothing. Bunker is no, only good for man-made. Uh, because the, right? the other timeline is like a nuclear war, right? World War Three, all this chaos, right? And everybody like more than half the world goes away. See, I don't see that ever happening. We're still, even though we're declining greatly, we're still the mega superpower. And nobody would nuclear, but could, that's you what, know, that's have what a nuclear got. strike on the United States. It would never happen. Well, I mean, they if the they did, world. it would be pretty much mutually assur assured destruction, right? Yeah, it would never get one, here. We'd we they'd be taken out of the sky. Well, maybe, some, say, but then, say say then, say one could get here. Right? There's probably uh, it would be suicide. There's probably whatever um, country did it. There's a, what do you call it? Not like protocols, but like some, um, you know, like when you die, like there's a a, a protocol in uh, uh, that gets uh, enacted. Mm. Right? I'm sure there's protocols that get enacted. If, if we get hit with a bomb, a, a nuclear bomb, we're sending off. We're blowing the whole fucking world. We're taking the whole world with us. You that's why I don't think we're going to go that timeline. And that's what but that don't you think that's how it is, though? Mm. And I bet you Russia has protocols. What's yeah. the word I'm looking for, though? It's not protocols. Um, anyway, they have like a, a reaction force? protocol Quick reaction in, in place that I'm sure if we land the bomb on them, they automatically have what, like, you know, they have bases, like we have bases. Mm -hmm. And there's probably nuclear weapons that are, boom, going to get set off no matter what happens. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do. I do. Right? Yeah, yeah. that's why I don't think we're going to go that timeline. Because that would be the structure in the world. But that's what the Georgia Guidestones were. They wanted the population down to 500 million people. 
Mm. See, Frankie and I. That's I, 500 million. That's what you're 500 saying. million people is but optimal through, for planet Earth. Is through what? They what? Say. Through, through what, though? Through vaccines, through plastics on our wall, plastics, oh, all bro, this stuff, everything. right? They've been poisoning the shit yeah. out of us, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, that's how it's happening. There's not going to be any any nuclear fallout or anything like that. It's, it, it, uh, you don't know. I don't know. Being, we're being you don't know. cleansed from within, you know? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to go that way, but that's like one of the predictions. Even like the Simpsons predicted that. Do you ever see that mm. Simpson thing that popped yeah. up recently? The 20, like 2024 type? of shit that was the destruction of the world that's what they want that's why they were building the bunkers right because they like but they know their time's up mm. they honored they honored the luciferian side of life right and like they service itself killing kids doing all these other things right like yo your time's up and you're gonna reap everything that you sow mm. everything that's why I, that's why i brought that up before i was like you will like i'm saying with, with that lady like that was like she only went through some little bit of negative stuff she went, that, that's mm. not what I meant. I meant like the pure evil. They're going to reap everything, man. You don't do that. Mm. That's why Sounds of Freedom came out. That's why all this is playing out, right? Everything is playing out divinely right now. Yeah. And I still, mm. I, I, I believe there's, there's so much more than what we, we don't see. I mean, listen, I'm 100% in agreement with you that we're very much in a time of good versus evil. I mean, just, just to simplify it, there's no question. There's no about left that, and right. You know, yeah. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe that separates Democrat, us. Democrat, Republican, right, right left, well, I, okay, this is conservative. Little, little, n- I don't buy into where any does of that shit. AI fit in all this? That's what we're fighting. Mm. That's what we're fighting. Fighting AI. It's like it's like the Terminator type of shit, I right? No, but like There's, I don't. Even, what if what, like what, okay? Uh, what are we fighting? We're fighting the, the bad people getting the AI. Yes, and using, and using it for it. the malicious reason to control us, right? right? What Hive if the good minds. people get the AI? That's why neuro. Uh, that's why I'm if you're on Elon Musk. Because of the fucking Neuralink, why? Why is he doing that, right? Like well, in his mind, at least from what he says, it's what gonna, he you know, says. I, mean, I know well, yeah, you're right, yeah. though. I mean, what the, he is saying, the implications are or the 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 abilities of the Neuralink is to help people see, help people walk. But you're also stuff. you're linking them up to AI, and now that's what this whole issue is. It's kind of like Terminator. Is that artificial like intelligence? Termin- though? Terminator. I don't know if so that would think, be artificial you, intelligence. You think though. that the things Elon right? is doing would that now? Be, I mean, listen, would that be considered? How would that be considered art- a neural link? Because you're artif- linked up. You're linked up directly to Starlink. No, no, I don't think it's. I don't. Th- no, no. You're, from, you're, you're I, hive mind. This is from what, what. This is what I got from Neuralink. They're gonna put a chip into your brain, right? That could control all the neurons and nerves in your body. That's what I got for Neuralink, right? Okay, but, you got uh, how, how? He's saying that it's hooked up to... What do you mean how? Because we have nerves and our, our, our brain operates all the nerves. Right. What what uh, what signal is operating that? The the Neuralink. The Neuralink probably and has a battery in there or something. It's probably... It's not getting an outsource... Uh, it's getting an outsource. An outsource of, no. of, of knowledge, power from something else. It's all in that chip or whatever it is? Yeah. Right? What would you Would you say that? <clears throat> Yeah, I would think it would have to be hooked. But hooked up to like a a satellite? Yeah, some some outsourced outside source of of what? No, of power. No, you mean micro fucking computers have microprocessors that are as big? Uh, That's what they're talking about. The microprocessors are going to be in a brain. I don't know. I just would assume that it would be. Maybe it's all in a chip. I don't know. I think we already have the technology. So they take that chip out of your head every time they want to do an update to it, like your phone. I mean, they I don't. don't, I, don't, think, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I haven't seen. I haven't met anybody. <laughs> None of my buddies got the Neuralink. Yeah. Well, I know, but that's <laughs> what you're saying. You're saying it, it doesn't need to come out. They put it in, and you're. I'm fucking, not saying it doesn't need to come out. Every probably, time it needs an update, think, every six months. What I've seen pictures of, which I mean, I don't even know if they're real pictures. It just depictions of what it might look like. It just looks like a little cap on your on, on your head. So yeah, why wouldn't there be like a battery in there or something or a microprocessor that? Oh, we got to do an updated one. Why? Why wouldn't that make sense? It could be. I'm. I'm not saying I'm can you, coming can you, from uh, a place see, of knowledge. You, here. I'm you just saying. Put up Neuralink on there, and we'll get a little background info. It was up a second ago. I was reading it. Oh yeah. Oh. The guys. You were reading it. He was reading it in his head. Mm-hmm. Its devices makes use of ultra flexible tiny electrodes implanted directly into the brain <sighs> tissues to listen to the communication between neurons. Kristen Welling, neural. All right, you want to go up? There's only a company down there. Oh, well, you may be right by allowing the human brain to directly interface with computers and other devices. And other tech companies hope they can help. 
people were getting abilities lost through things like injury or disease. So that that is an external source then, right? Yep. Wow. That's and this is what wild. we're battling though. This is like Terminator type of shit. Mm. Literally. This is like What was that company called in Terminator? Uh, uh, I think Cyber it was Skylink. Skylink. Sky, 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 Cybernet. Skynet. Sky, Skynet. 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 Yeah. Skynet. Yeah. But this is called Starlink, right? No, it's called Neur Neuralink. Neuralink. Yeah. But it's connected Starlink, to Starlink. Starlink is his... Um, Space come on, you can't like, make this up. It's like, yo, come on. No, I don't know. I don't, maybe. I don't know either. So what is, he what plays is, both what is sides. your take on Elon? Personally... He's, he's taking both sides. I like what he's doing. I love that he's restoring the First Amendment. Agreed. You know, I, I love that about Agreed. him probably more than anything. Um... I, I like that he uh, doesn't care what um, he really doesn't seem to care that much about money. Obviously, he's a capitalist. He does, but he doesn't give a shit what his sponsors have to say or or, or potential potential he's sponsors. He said sides. he said fuck off. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love that about him. So I just question him because he's playing both sides, and with the whole Neuralink thing, is like I know we're battling. Explain so like, to me how he's playing both sides because I I see him more on the side of doing the right thing. Right with now. the robots, so he's building robots. He's building Neuralink. He's um, not building robots. He's not building robots. I thought he was. Mm -mm. Are you sure? Tesla. What? Tesla. They built a robot. Oh, well, they Tesla. did. Yeah, that's his company. Really? They Tesla. There's yeah. Tesla and robots. It, and it backfired on one of the employees. Frankie don't like being wrong. Back two, two wrong in a row. It right backfired like two wrong. What was it the backfired. Other one? On what was the other one, one there, Rod? The network interface that it connects outside of. He's Houston. saying to the satellite. Yeah, that's why. Right. Wow, I didn't. I mean, I'm just saying. You asked. What yeah, I guess it was wrong. That's too We're wrong. Don't write it down. Here. It's fuck him because he get a tattoo of it. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla a robot tax attacks. Engineer? Bro, I'm telling you, they make robots. Violent bro, malfunction, leaving a trail of blood. Holy sh wait, that's not a video of it, is it? Oh, oh, a robot. A fucking <laughs> robot at the. No, 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 they have robots. Right there. But... Bro, they have robots. Well, this is what we're battling. We you know there's a million cameras in there. It's got to be on video. Tesla bot. I'm sure they don't want it out there. Of course not. I don't know. But there is the timeline. Right, well, Wasn't there a okay. biblical reference that some people think he's like, uh, he's like the Antichrist? The Antichrist. You know, you know I heard they about think it. everybody is. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean, there's a couple of scenarios I heard uh, Obama was actually. Yeah, I don't know. We'll find out though, right? Because we're but in the I, times right now. We get to yeah. live through the shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. This is yo. This is the most epic time to be alive. Well, it's also I mean, it's also scary if you're a parent. You, oh, no, you, it is. You're, well, you're, I, you're but, living for this shit. You're but, just move but out in the woods. I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna happen with the kid. Like I think that we're on the positive timeline. Mm. Deep Us, down inside, oh, bro, I, I honestly do. Mm. I don't know. I think that I still think there will be a blackout. We but live like, in we live in Jersey. It might just wipe us right off the fucking map. <laughs> yeah. We're not real loved. Bro, all right. So, so do you see that thing I sent you though, know, where uh, in England. A girl got raped on Meta in Metaverse. Mm -hmm. Her character, her, like her the avatar. Thing. I don't know. If it says Metaverse, so it's not. Uh, yeah, maybe not. that's yeah. The, her, her character. Mm. Did you read it? They read the story. Avatar. Was, her avatar. Yeah, was her, raped. Her, her avatar was raped by gr gang raped. You know how you could stop With, that? Take the fucking headset <laughs> off, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just go boop. It's I know. Power I know. Well, they say they're, they're trying to say they could, they're trying to put charge these people criminally. Well, it's England, so maybe they'll get away with it. I know, but I'm uh, saying that they have to start of some like so that's okay, going to happen. So though. Like, think about how, playing, how if I'm how, playing Grand Theft Auto no. and someone kills me, or if I'm playing Call of Duty, that's what I'm saying, can I charge that person with murder? Right. Yeah. Does that make any fucking sense no, at all? No, it doesn't. But don't you? As this gets more, that's a girl that shouldn't be. Playing as this game. gets more, you know. You're not gonna be able to distinguish between reality and 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 realness. And those people that can't, like if this girl can't, and she thinks actually she has trauma done to her, and she couldn't turn, just shut the game off and walk away when it started. It's like scary then, movies. Then right? she should never be allowed on the internet again. It's like a scary movie. Yeah. You know, you're traumatized from a scary movie. Yeah, you right? shouldn't watch scary movies after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I agree. With this you. guy. This guy always thinks I'm arguing with him. I'm not arguing with you. I'm. I'm, I'm no. I'm yeah. talking, bro. I'm not so? arguing. Oh, no, no. I didn't, He's angry. I'm not. I didn't. I didn't pick up that. He's been angry. Well, why? Do you have a different? You won't, take? Like, you won't like Roger when he's angry. I, I <laughs> assume that we were on the same page. No, we are. We are. You guys are definitely on the same page. Yeah. I what are you talking that. about? <laughs> oh man. No. <laughs> but no. I'm just saying that. Like, if they're they're doing like well, what else are they gonna do? Because this AI shit is gonna be. 
well, well that's what we're sensitive, fighting that's it's the always Luciferian sensitive side. people that push boundaries right this is a extremely sensitive human. well like yo if like my kids my kids are in school like there's they have to like fight you like if you want they have to like file bullying uh incidents and shit now mm. like that's kind of it's 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 like now it's in video games. <laughs> like in video games, you can't fucking bully someone, right? You know what I mean? Like are they okay, gonna go after people like at, that? It's look crazy. At today's youth. Look at suicide rates now. Look at kids on medication now. Look at kids in therapy now. Look at kids going to counseling now. Look at problematic children now. When I was a kid, everybody got bullied, including me. I got fucking bullied in high school. I was when I was a freshman. Senior kid was bullying me. Fucking you get bullied buck, in here once a week, bro. Everybody gets fucking bullied to a degree. Now I'm not saying there aren't bad cases of it, right? Where somebody should maybe get involved in some way. I don't know. I believe it's the parents. I don't think it's the school's duty per se, unless maybe it's crossed extreme lines on school grounds, right? But Agreed. it was a better it was a better generation when I was a kid. And we were all getting bullied. It was there was it was a healthier it was totally generation. Different, yeah. it was no, healthier but I, I don't generation. know if it's called. I was just different. The bullying's different. I don't want to say it's tough to say bullying's good for people. You know what I mean? Obviously, no. I think a little bit of bullying is good. There's obviously extreme measures of yeah, it. There is. Yeah. You know, we had Duke Gomez in the other day and said he'd never been punched in ever. He's never been mm -hmm. in a fight in his life. But with his personality, he's gonna get in a fight. You know what I mean? So I think it's probably a good thing. For him to get into a fight and see what yeah, he's made of. Yeah, that's different than bullying, I'm saying. You know, well, I was just yeah, giving an example. It is yeah. different than bullying. I'm just giving an example of it would make him a better human, I think. It would make him a better person if he knew what he was made of. I don't think kids know what they're made of until they get... Until they get bullied a little to bit. To some degree. I don't ta I'm don't. i not talking about extreme cases. Mm. I, I mean, it's incredibly sad when kids commit suicide because they were bullied so badly. We just had a case at Central High School where I a girl was that, yeah. bullied so bad. Extremely sad. I'm not saying there aren't extreme cases where things should be done. But this fucking example, this girl got raped via a game that she couldn't just turn off. I mean, she wasn't actually raped. There was no physical harm done to her whatsoever. It was all some virtual reality bullshit that she refused to so turn off. So wild. listen, say it gets to the point where like, all right, <clears throat> Worm, we're sitting in this room, right? Mm -hmm. We're sitting in this room right now. Like, it fucking feels real, <laughs> right? And fucking Andrew comes over there, bangs you over the head with a fucking club, and then Jesse comes and just goes to town on your ass. Right, and it feels fucking real, like the air. Like it's gonna get to the point where supposedly it's, it you can't distinguish, right? It's like player one, and you're so traumatized. But why would anybody take part in that? Why would anybody want to be, you know, where that's allowed to happen within the parameters of the game? Why would anybody take that chance? Yeah, but, but they did shit. it. They just did it in that game. What's the difference? That was that's not on the level you're talking. You're saying it's so real. That's Bro, not. But that's that's where it's going. It is yeah, going. That's there. where it's going. Right. So, so you gave it was an pretty real. I'm sure that was pretty real. I'm sure it was pretty real. Not I don't think as technologies where you were just giving the example where I actually believe, you know, the well, you dude. The not the, do you ever see? You haven't seen the guy like, uh, the like. The, like the guy, like probably about your age, he has the uh, thing on and he's yeah, yeah, going on the little yeah, boards. He's he's going, oh, oh my god! Like, no, no, he's not. It's oh. not boxing. He's like on, oh, yeah. on like a high beam. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like, uh, you know, with, with like a canyon underneath him. You don't think he's, he's playing like, it up a little bit? I mean, possibly. Come yeah, on. I know. But do you see the guys punching through yeah. through fucking those are, if, TVs? If he's, if he's real, if he's being no, I think those are guys that just don't understand their surroundings because they're in I know the game. but it's I'm just mistake. saying that's the beginning of it that's then, then, the crude then, version then, 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 then if, if you believe that where people can't distinguish the difference I'm saying right now they can there's no game that that's that fucking realistic that you can't and if you if you are already you have no business being on the internet you have no business gaming you have none of that you mean you know mm -hmm. what I mean you shouldn't you shouldn't be part of any of that and if but it gets to the point there. where he's talking about why would anybody partake in it well, like I'm just everybody. saying though, if, mm. if 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 they're doing it, was that Total Recall? Was yeah, it, was yeah. Total Recall. Yeah. Yeah. Player yeah. one though, yeah. player one, where they could put you yeah. into full body like Ready yeah. Player One. Yeah, yeah. 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 But Ready Total one. Recall. Yeah, yeah. Live that's a whole old school life. one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we are. That's what we're battling though. That's what, what I mean. The whole AI. That's the Luciferian side. So it's because technology makes life ridiculously easy it's the convenience of everything at your fingertips literally everything sex yeah i mean the good qualities of it i guess you can post what like what i'm sorry what was that i mean little porn i guess uh -huh. i'm talking about not sex per se but porn, phone sex all that anything almost anything sexual 
and you and you can even order the real thing if you want. You know what I mean through the internet. But there's also benefits to it, right? Like you can you can you can share pictures of your you can share your kid's graduation with maybe your grandparents that can't make it there. They can feel like they're there. So there are benefits. But when it crosses the line, and we're dangerously right there, uh, uh, we're right, there yeah. right on the cusp of crossing the line into too much evil. When do you pull the plug on it? Well, that's why this is only going to change. Can yeah, you pull? You can't pull a plug on it. No, well, it, only with the end of the world and, be I, a, and a reset. Yeah, you can't turn back time. You're right with technology, right. but you, yeah. if, if if I think it's going to be used in the good way. Situation where the fucking world's end, then then yeah, you got it's humans with fucking nine millimeter pistols trying to take out robots that are you know operating on. Well, I'd have to get to that point. Yeah. Right, I'm right. saying, and then it's a restart of the world. You know? So that's what I mean with so the two different timelines, right? What I was saying. Well, the, don't like you know. I don't know if you believe this, but like a lot of people believe it. How like we were probably techno technologically advanced in the past as mm -hmm. maybe, Atlantis as, as more or equal or, or, or more than we are yeah. now. That was a fall oh, right? Atlantis, sure, and then we've had a cataclysmic event where they wiped us out and brought us down. To, was who it, says was it us or was it aliens? Do you think it was it us? What do you mean? You said we were way more advanced at one point, oh, like so building the us. pyramids. Yeah, you yeah, think it was, it was hum us. the yeah. human form? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Suppose and, and I think I think the aliens might be us also. Hmm. Well, that's what they do say. Do you believe in that? Think about this. There, there's, there's, do you believe in that theory that once we were giants, not giants, but like ten feet tall? Nephilims. Mm, maybe I don't know well, about Nephilins. that, but I do believe that we were maybe super technolo technologically advanced. The point that where we could leave this earth and go populate another planet because mm. maybe it got so bad that like the, the elites left. So you're, went, you're essentially listen, saying let me, let, me, let, me, let me finish Let me finish Let me finish hmm. Right The, the elites are, it to be What do you mean time, do it to you all the time I'm fucking telling a story You keep fucking cutting me off you Holy all right, shit all right, let's I'll, go. I'll, 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 I'll hammer him right back When he does it to me I'll make it I'll grind the show <laughs> to a halt Alright we'll do it We'll okay. do it yeah, grind, No we'll grind the whole show to a halt Cause you make a big deal of it I don't But I'm gonna <laughs> now motherfucker Alright all right. I can't wait Just I wait can't pal What was that You stupid motherfucker Yeah that was an example Exactly Alright So People, it, you know, it, it, the Earth would maybe like uh, we an asteroid was coming or the fucking mm. something, solar flare, and we were techno with technologically advanced enough to get to another planet, mm -hmm. and they took a group of people, maybe I don't know how many, left the planet and then left the regular people or the the masses to deal with this asteroid, and maybe it went down to like a thousand people, right, or how mm. many ever people, and then we had to build all the way back up, but the pyramids are still there, mm. right. That could definitely be a plausible thing. Yeah. And think about it, right? They say um, you're gonna almost like you're almost gonna be if you if we start our brains are so advanced, you're not gonna need our body. That's why like these aliens they 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 have eyes like we do. They stand upright, but they got no muscles and shit. You mm. know what I mean? They're, they're just using their eyes because they're looking at iPads all day. The grays. Yeah. So the grays supposedly were us when that cataclysm happened, right? That you were talking about, right? They right. went underground. And that's why they turn gray. And that's why their eyes got so big to adapt to the underground life. Uh, mm. That's just like a conspiracy side of what they say happened with the grays. Mm. That, that That's a f future version of us. And that's why they're here. They made deals with, I guess, the presidents or whatever, right? Back in the day. Um, to tr They lost their connection with God. And the, when they went underground. Because they got corrupted by the bad side. The Luciferian side. So are they still underground? Well, uh, I mean, there's also you, the theory that they walk among us, right? But they, they take do. a form. What, yeah. the, grays, the grays walk among us? I don't know about the grays, but the aliens grays. walk among us that are in human form, Aren't, right? Uh, what do you call them? Reptilians. Well, well, we have the reptilians, they say. They say that we have... <laughs> <laughs> there's so many... Like the lions, right? We have lyrans. the Pleiadians. Lions what? are like lion-looking human. What? Foods. lion look? i never seen a lion-looking human. Well, no, no, but they don't walk in. They're not the one walking. They they call them the Nordics, blonde hair, blue eyes. What? I fuck like like Chris Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, is, is a lion. No, 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 no. But that that that's like um, the Pleiadians. Lyrans are a different form. Can I ask where you read? Where do you get your information from? There's so many different outlets, like uh, online. Obviously, you don't. You're not reading like books from the 1800s. No, but sometimes they're like. Spend a lot of time in the library, or are you on, no, you online? You in the dark web? Some of it is. Some of it's there. Some it's it's scattered all over, and then I try to like filter it. 
I say what what resonates with me and what doesn't, right? I don't know yet. Mm. I don't know how this plays out. I don't know if the world's flat and we're, and we're under a dome, right? That other, <laughs> so outer space is just the outer space, right? The water's above. The firmament. Yeah, it's like yeah. a firmament, but there's actually outer, like there's actual the land of Mars, the land of Jupiter, right? The land of the Anunnaki, <clears throat> the land of like, there's Nibiru, whatever that is. But there, there's <laughs> different lands outside of here that what they call outer space. Well, is it, it's is just it, outer is it true, Jesse? You space. would know Frankie probably would. Frankie smarter than me. He likes when I say that. Antarctica. It's it's illegal to have any yeah. civilian. I mean, I'm sure they do it militarily, but a civilian expedition. We're not allowed to do that anymore, right? You're not allowed to. Past no, a there's latitude. such a cool story on this too. Well, with I, I know the, Bird. Admiral Bird. I know. The, I know the story. You know Admiral What's the Bird. Story? You know. Can you tell me the you know story? What? Let me finish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me, me finish. I said I was talking. I was egging you on. I wasn't trying to stop uh, you. You interrupted me. I was egging you, you on. You Not trying me, to stop you. You tried to stop. You tried to no, stop me. I was, I was adding egging a you point on. To your said, thing. tell me the story that you were telling me. I was just gonna tell Jesse that where I grew up. See, cut me off again. Where I grew yeah. up in Maine, where my house was, I don't do it there, but now I am. Yeah, he's gonna taste a little taste <laughs> no, of his no, own medicine. No, now. it's different when I <laughs> oh, cut it's you different. the fuck off. It's different. This is what you there's do. Levels. This is what you there's do. There's levels to this cut me off. Does. There's levels. To he just stops. There's he's levels, levels to it. Me, I'm fucking. Yeah. I'm I said you up. I was going like this. He stop. Said, Frankie, stop. He, says, uh, this, stop. he said, this story. I said, tell that story. I'm like a fucking, like the, the guy in the back. There's helping levels. Him, there's tap, levels. Get him ready. There's you know? levels. Yeah. I'm in the like corner. I'm in the corner. There's oh, levels to it. Swing now. I like need, him. He's fucking I like, need the rule book. Yeah, it's got to be, give me your rule set. I didn't know there was rules to, to cutting somebody off. I, I, need the, I need the rule book. <laughs> anyway, Admiral Bird, um, where I grew up in Maine. Maine. Uh, where my dad's house is, literally, there's a lake called Tunk Lake. He had a cabin on Tunk Lake no that burned down many years ago. But yeah, I, I've there? actually, yeah, probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes from my dad's house. Not even 10 so minutes. So your dad heard the story? Yeah, my dad, actually, when I was a little kid, took me over to Admiral Bird's camp on Tunk Lake, which was burnt down already. But it was there was shit laying around, you know. There was. Have you have you heard his story? Yeah, yeah. What's his story? They're, yeah, they're benevolent. They're, they're like awesome beings that live on the other side. Of the, they're like us. Well, he went underground, basically, yeah. when he got there, right? And it was like well, no, a he beautiful. was flying, and they, they took him down over Antarctica, right? Some crazy thing like that, and but like... They showed him beyond the ice wall, and it's so much more evolved than we are here. We're on like a farm, they say. Like that's why the elites control us, and like that's why we're breaking out of well, this. Didn't he fly like into a beautiful yeah. world of yeah. greenery yeah. and sun? But it was like it was almost like flying into the center of the earth. Almost. Yep. I don't know the exact story, but wasn't it something it was similar? Something to that? It was similar, like the that. opposite of the extreme. Um, After the ice wall, there was this magical right. land. That was so much more advanced to us, kind of like the like the Atlanteans, right? The, so Atlantis, right? That when they supposedly Atlantis was everywhere, it wasn't just the Bermuda Triangle type of spot, and they were way more advanced than us. But slowly over time, I guess some say reptilians, some say darkness got into them, and they they lost their way, and that's why <clears throat> it, it collapsed. Supposedly this is like the seventh or eighth like like reset. Of the humans of, hu of humans. humans. Of our race. Yeah. What what do you think the reason would be the federal if it's true, I'm not even sure it's true. I'm sure Andrew Andrew, you can look it up. The reason would uh the government, the US government would put stipulations on civilians not being able to cross a certain latitude, longitude yeah. line. They, you could walk out in the middle of the desert and, and fry to death and anywhere. You could die. Maybe the dome? So it's not it's not for it's not for safety reasons. It's not trying maybe to protect dome? you because of its extreme conditions, right? Because you could literally walk into the desert and and fry, and they don't care. But can you go to Antarctica? <clears throat> yes, you can visit Antarctica. Yeah, no, in but... fact, Antarctica has never been more accessible to travelers. Do you need permission to go to Antarctica? Travelers do not need permission to go to Antarctica, but tourism operators must hold a valid permit. I guess that's yeah, your you got to get Roger. a permit, and you got to you got to be microbanded the whole entire time there. Like, I forgot how many countries signed the treaty for it. Hmm. What would you want to go there? Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be on my bucket list. I mean, I'm probably not going to be though. the guy that I mean, discovers. I mean, you see all the... this stuff. You can see glaciers and whales. I mean, you know what they say though? 
the firmament is so much smaller there that you could like like from where we're at it's so high up right that's why we see planes so far up in the air but from there it's like you're almost touching the firmament yeah but then the other side of the firmament is actually where the magic like other lands like i said like instead of mars being mars mars is it's, it's not a planet it's actually another piece of land with a firmament over it too so when we send satellites to Mars, we're sending it just on the other side of the Supposedly Earth. Supposedly the satellites are just helium and they're going up and then like they're not going up to where we think. They're not going to space. There's no space. What? You believe this? I don't like, know. You don't see the stars out there at night? The, 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 first, the, the very stars first are thing I pull up, it says, unless you're an elite, the very first thing that pops up, unless you're an elite scientist or an emperor penguin in an effort to protect the area's biodiversity, regular folk are forbidden to explore the Antarctic. Yeah, without permission and a permit. Even if you could, good luck overcoming the frostbite, including temperatures of nearly 130 the degrees. Antarctic? Is that Antarctica? Or is it the same Antarctica. Thing? Antarctic. Come see. Yeah, Antarctica. <clears throat> But, I mean, that's the first thing that popped up. Yeah, it's weird. Mm, well, that thing said Flashlight's on. I know. Oh, it's such an old man move. We leave your flashlight on. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's an old man move. Now, but yeah, exactly what I said. Why is Antarctica, gra Antarctica guarded? Antarctica is guarded to protect this unique environment. There's unique environments all over the fucking place that you can go visit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's vast and it's huge. It's not like if you I think this started on a when, penguin, it's when gonna... World War II happened. Hitler had bases there. Um, yeah. Also, said, it is guarded forbidden. as a political symbol of cooperation among different countries. Dating back to the Cold War period. Yeah. Oh, this is just some person. You can't even fly over it. No. You you don't think someone tried putting well, a, a, a um what do you call it a drone over that, like a little. Well, they're saying it's because there's a limited infrastructure, no landing strips, no refueling stations. So I mean, maybe that's why. But I don't think that. You How do you get there? You fly into there, right? Snowmobile. No. <laughs> How, how do you get there, though? You fly into there? You could sure, you fly, fly take a boat. into. I mean, uh, all, the, all the landing strips up there are on ice. You land on like six feet of ice. Yeah, bro. <clears throat> like, th that's as sketchy as it is. Like, alone. You can't go there. I'm not going to watch it now, but there's like videos why no one's allowed to explore the Antarctic. Admiral Byrd's story is fascinating. It is. Fascinating. It how blew. did Admiral Byrd die? I'm sure my dad could tell oh, us. Oh, actually, I don't, I don't know how he died, but like I know that he said like the people that lived there were like us, but way more evolved mm. on a whole other level. That we're in a slave colony though here, and we are. You dive into it, the birth certificate and all that, right? Of how we're born, not just here, bro. It's the world that we're we're all in a slave community, but we're breaking out of that right now. Wait, Wait how does the birth certificate make us a slave community? So property the, of the government. Yeah, property of the government. So when you when you when you're born right and your birth, like yeah, I guess that, that's Social something to do with like uh, um, something law, um, maritime law, right? The laws of the sea, right? It all ties in. You have to look at it, you have to look into it more. I'm very bad at explaining something sometimes, but like that's what it is. So you're sold to the stock market as soon as you're born. You're talking uh, about um, you're talking about like uh, the the. Um, what do they call them? Um, citizens. Um, when they get pulled over, they refer they refuse to sovereign, sovereign citizens. Sovereign, yeah. That's what they believe in. They believe in maritime law. But that's supposed sovereignty. To what, well, what's going on right now? Right. Yeah. But like, th that's why this all changes. This mm. we're living in a time. This we're all this is all going to change and collapse. Everything. I feel like we're worker bees. The federal. Right? We're, the fed we're, we're like a like a beehive. We're the worker bees. We can only stay and work on the hive. We have to keep the hive functioning. We have to, you yes. know, they, that's how the government views us. Is there yes. we are their worker bees? We have to fund this huge look at the machine. That look at all that. They just at, in the middle of the night they'll pass a bill to send you know thirty billion dollars to Ukraine, and we're just worker bees that'll make more money and fund that whole 
machine, you know, even though it's complete corruption. That's how we're viewed, uh, and we're expendable. They'll kill us in, in two seconds. They don't care about us. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. We're all disposable. Mm -hmm. All of us. But if you're a good little worker bee and you never make any noise, mm -hmm. and you just you'll live your life as a worker bee and you'll fund the machine and yeah. the moment. I'm so glad we get to live there in a time we're not going to be able to see that anymore. We're going to evolve to the best version of ourselves, mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. The kids, all of us, we're bringing heaven back to earth, and that's Eden. Mm. That's what this world was attending, and all truth would be revealed. Yeah, but does it just happen magically one day, or does it have to be a resistance of people that I think make it slowly, happen? Look, at, look what's been happening these past, since we've been talking, right, since 2020, this all shit happened, right? Look what's happened. You guys have seen way... Uh, the stuff that I said back in 2020 that you guys all believe it came to fruition. Does there, all of it. Do we have to rise up as a population to make it happen? We need to become the best version of ourselves. Is that that's what needs to happen? You gotta start running, Raj. And yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't think becoming the best version of ourselves, which as you explained, is forgiveness and yes. Kind, I saw a thing the other day. I asked Frankie about it. There was a guy that posted a video about being a civilized man. A civil man is way better. Than being an like an alpha male and a dangerous man that's capable of violence, a civil man, a passive man that's not even capable of violence, is what's going to make the world a better place and make uh, civilization a better place. What's your feeling on that? You need no, you need to be, have some savage in you. Yeah, I like Jordan Peterson's version you of do, it better. Though. I think that, that you control the best that. man you can. So be if you want to bring that, but like that's not the way we're going, is right? A peaceful civil man, capable of violence, but only use it as a lapsed option. Yeah, because if you have to fight evil, because there <clears throat> right. is evil still in the world, right. so you can't you can't make that right now. I say in the future, right? I don't think maybe it will be like that. But as of right now, you need to have that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to ever have to use that ever again in my life. That's why I worked on myself and working on all my traumas that I've been through. To not be like that, but if it the, if it ever came down to it, I would protect any man, woman, child that I needed to mm -hmm. in the harm of evil, yeah. 100%. But that's the time we're living in now. In the future, I don't think it will be like that. But mm -hmm. as of right now, you need that. We need all guys like us. We do. That's just, if you didn't have that, you'd walk all over us even more. Mm -hmm. And we can't have that. We can't have that. Yeah. So, But we need that. It smells mad clean in here. It does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's yes. a candle. Yes, it does. Savvy Soaps. Shout out. <laughs> he's actually helping me out right now. Good guy. Um, he's going to donate back to my charity for me this year. And I never raised money. So Very it's like, cool. yeah, good thing. Hell yeah. Let's switch gears a little bit. Let's go. Because you're an MMA you fan. You're a UFC fan. I'm obviously a uh, UFC fan. We got the fucking big dog in the house. Let's go. Conor McGregor's coming back. Mm-hmm. Coming back June, uh, June right? Yeah, late, June late, 9th late June. Or, 9th or it was 29th late, maybe? Late, late maybe June in, in Vegas. Like that, yeah. Obviously, he's fighting Chandler, which I love Chandler as a fighter. He's never a disappointing fight ever. Neither is Connor, really, though. Um, Connor's got a huge fucking name. It's going to be a huge pay per view, obviously. But they're fighting at fucking 185. It's fucking crazy. Dude, I don't know dude, if they are yet. Is that a joke? I thought it was a joke at first. Who knows? It was it, a 145 may... champ. It was a 155 champ. I actually didn't know that was champ. happening. He fought Listen, it, it, Nate Diaz at one seventy. Right. Now that motherfucker's going to one eighty. He's gonna fight another fifty five pounder. Yeah, he fought a, he fought a, a fifty five pounder at seventy. Right. He's gonna fight a fifty five pounder eighty five. Right, but the the reasoning. Correct me if I'm wrong, Frankie. This is your area of expertise. Is that the reason he fought was because <laughs> Nate stepped in last minute, couldn't make one fifty five, so they agreed on one seventy. Right. Maybe, but if the 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 um. What about the rematch? Wasn't the rematch at the 170? The rematch, also? I believe, was at... But I think the rematch was at 170 because he lost the first fight and he wanted to... Ah, but it's still the same as that 170. Yeah, it's the bad motherfucker yeah. belt, right? Yeah. 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 But regardless, I mean, obviously... No, it wasn't. But people... Yeah. It wasn't? No. Mm -hmm. Oh. It was wasn't before the, that. It, if it, if it, it wasn't around yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, it wasn't for a belt, but he'd beat Aldo at 145 for the belt. He had beat uh, for the 155. I think it was one of the first five-round... Non-title fights. Yep, and they made it five rounds yeah. for him. Yeah. Uh, but what? It, what is? Do you, do you think um, Connor's fought heavier? Has Chandler ever fought heavier? But Connor's never fought heavier. Well, one seventy. He's one seventy. Yeah, which um, is heavier than okay, normal. Okay, fights. okay. And I thought you meant like heavier than eighty-five. No. Um, yeah. No. I. I don't. I don't know. I don't think Chandler's fought heavier than fifty-five. Well, a lot of people's take on it is it really tested. 
Connor's cardio at 170. He didn't seem to have the cardio there at 170. Now he's going up 185, and Chandler's never come anywhere close to 185. Is it going to? You think that's going to be taxing on Chandler's cardio? Uh, no, because I, I don't think either of them will weigh 185. They'll probably go in there at 180. Okay. I bet you. Well, still, that's fucking heavy. No, it's heavy, but they'll, just be, they'll be feeling great. Yeah. No cutting weight. No, they're not, nothing, you know? Mm. They won't look shredded, though. They'll right. look bulky as shit. Right. Uh, you ain't going to look shredded. You have a prediction? Um, you know, Connor's only I think eleven Connor, and six. Yeah, I think at, at, he's I think only Con- eleven and six. Uh, Connor, I think in these not at eighty five. I'm going. I'm going Chandler all day. I if think it's, so. if it's at seventy fifty five, it probably won't be fifty five. But it's at seventy, I could see Connor maybe having a little better shot. Maybe catch him with a, you know a shot coming in because because Chandler. He could wrestle like a motherfucker, mm-hmm. but for some reason he loves to be a, a show. Little, he loves putting bomb. on a show. Yep. He loves bombing. Yep. That could play into what Connor wants, and sure. he could, you know, land that left hand on him. Yep. But as the fight goes on, we kind of know how Connor goes in, in most of his matchups. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just for the simple reason that I've always bet against Connor, and I fucking every time I, I lose usually. <laughs> I mean, I definitely picked Eddie to fucking smoke him, and I always I'm gonna pick Connor just because every time I pick against him, he wins. So I oh, love shit. Chandler, though. I love Chandler, yeah, and I'm I kind of want to be the pick. catalyst of what Frankie's yeah. picking too. So. I didn't pick anybody. Oh, I thought uh, you said you picked Chandler. No, I'm saying I I got yeah I just, just kind of broke it down. I'm saying I could see both mm. ways. at one at 185. I think Chandler takes it at 170. I could see Connor maybe catching Chandler as he comes in. Okay, so let's say 180. Who are you picking? Well, you know what I mean. Even any fight, yeah. All right. It doesn't matter. You don't think that matters? I think it matters a little bit. You're so bulky. If Connor, Connor's, dude, he's, he's I think fast. cardio is where it matters. I think that's the only place it matters. I think not, because look, even like Connor's just so fast, and you th- he gets mm. too bulky. It's gonna take his he's speed a, he's away. What? You, and I learned this phrase. From, I learned this phrase from you. He's a front runner. No. So he's gonna come out. He's probably gonna win the first round. If he catches him with a big left, Chandler's going out. Obviously, if he doesn't. He's going to start slowing, I think, in the second, the third, definitely. Yeah, that's right. And he'll no, have I agree. moments of spurts, obviously. Yeah. He's always dangerous. No, I, but, I, I agree with that. Yeah. 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 But he's going to try for a first round knockout. No question. Connor. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, he just always tries to land that left. So, yeah. yeah. But again, Chandler, he might go out there and look to throw bombs, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a good fight. It's a mm-hmm. good fight either way. True. I like when big shots land. And guys go down, and the crowd is like, ah, and they think it's over, and gets and Chandler does that a lot. Chandler gets rocked, <laughs> goes down, and jumps right back up. It's crazy. True. So, you know. Um, I love uh, when, sorry, I just cut no, you off. No, no, I was no. going to say, I love when, when the commentators, too, Joe Rogan, John Anik, they're like, ah, and they yeah, think yeah, it's over. Yeah. And they're like, he's up. You know, it yeah, gets uh, you. Like, it, yeah, it makes the hair oh, stand yeah. up on your arms. They're great. Those are those yeah. reaction videos yeah. of them in the corner are, are awesome. Yep, yep. They do a good job with that. Yeah, it gets you into it. it gets oh, you yeah. fired up. hundred percent. Because you can see the passion. I mean, they're just passionate about it, and I, I, I feel Especially like I'm Joe passionate Rogan. about it. You know? Especially Joe Rogan. Yeah. Yo, John Anik too. He's the man. Anik too. Yeah. So this guy didn't die in Antarctica. Mm-mm. Oh. Never, I, I never so said he made he died, it back. No, no, no. So what did he do? What did he do? He never got. Well, he wrote a book about it, so obviously he made it back. Okay, well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know any of this. What did he do though? That was that. Why you say his story? What was his story? What was cool about his story? Uh, there's so much to it. I, I don't remember the full details. I just know, like it's a little personal to me because he had a had a. Camp, I didn't know that. That's literally, cool. you know, and I don't know what year that would have been. When did he die? 57, so I don't know, maybe like the 30s, 40s, he had a camp right 10 minutes from my dad's house. Oh, oh. See, I don't know if the world's flat or if it's round. I don't know. Yeah, listen, I would have said, I if you don't. said that to me two, three years ago, I would have said the, bullshit. Before the age of I would have said news, bullshit. I would have said, bro, I'd have laughed at myself. Like, me oh, too, I would have laughed at buddy. myself. I okay, see, buddy, but not I would have laughed at myself. I seen uh, a video, I was trying to support the fact that the world's round and it has uh, electric towers. Right in, in the middle of the water, and they kind of do go like this, you know. Mm. But I mean, that's tough to say. Yeah, there's also, water, yeah, there's also you know all the internet's underwater, though, right? What the whole internet's underwater? It's not with satellites. Yeah, yeah, I know that. yeah. Uh, the cables, cables, yeah. cables. Yeah, yeah. There's also people that do. You see this video up for the but flat internet, but the Starlink. Cut me off again. But the Starlink, the Starlink, 
I'm going to yell at you like you yell at me. You ready? Right? ready? Starlink. Shut up! <laughs> Starlink <laughs> is a satellite, though. That's why he can get people phones yeah, and stuff like that. that. So that's I know. Satellite. I'm with you on that's that. That's satellite. I'm with you. So if there's no fucking balloons. space, mm. if there's no space, where's he, where's Tesla or uh, Elon Musk stuffing them fucking satellites? So, so what, about Na- what about NASA, though? Well, they go up as high as the firmament. Aren't they saying you can only go... Operation as- Paperclip. What's that? NASA. We oh, brought yeah, back yeah, the yeah, top yeah. scientists from yeah, yeah, yeah. World War yeah, Two, yeah, yeah, right? Like the Nazis and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. But the the flat earthers, I've seen this a lot, like pop up on my feed or whatever. Because I guess you know whatever you search, always pops up on your feed. That and Benoit They're, balls. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Do you see that ESPN guy that was that was like, why? No, I'm sorry, it was an ad on his Google search when he t- had ESPN up, and it was like. Uh, Balls in ass or something like that, and he and he posted it, and he's supposed to be like a religious guy, and he's yeah. like, "Why would this feed?" What he didn't realize was it's based off your searches. Uh, uh, was, it got, Whitlock, uh, Jay, was it Jason Whitlock? I forget who it no was. Who was it? But they, it was, you know, who it was. <laughs> it wasn't a guy for ESPN. It was oh, a guy well. that was looking at, and he's like, "What's wrong with ESPN putting these ads up?" It's based on your searches, so nobody else oh, was getting that ad, just man. him. You know what I mean? So. Wow. Yeah, but anyway, uh, I was going to say the flat earth guys, I see one of their examples that they use a lot is the the curvature of the earth. It's like, you know, there's like a, yeah. uh, there's like, um, you know, a, a uh, what am I trying to say? An equation to figure out the curvature of the earth. Yep. And they'll, from one city, they'll look across the ocean and spot another city and be Agreed. like, based on the curvature of the earth, I'm not supposed to be able to see this city Agreed. if the earth is round, you know, so... So, Wait, I, so they're saying you couldn't see? So, they're saying if it was based it. on this equation of the curvature of the Earth and how far you can see, there's no way I should... And they'll zoom in with like a Nikon 900 power, and, they can and see they're it. looking at the yeah. city. They're like, there's uh, no way I should be able to see that city, you know what I mean? Wow. That's one of the examples. Well, I thought, I thought I've seen an example where they could put the hole into like a, a pa- yeah, newspaper. So wait, is he an yeah. ESPN guy? Well, he used to be. Oh, they got rid okay. of him though because uh, he's a, he's a. Uh, but he's religious. I saw. A re- he's religious. Yeah. He's a very conservative. Right. Yeah. Well, anyway, it said it said why does this ad keep popping up on my ESPN app and wow, well, it's based on his searches. Yeah, it's an algorithm based mm-hmm. on your searches. Well, that's funny. Yeah, Christian sports media personality. Yeah. <clears throat> so. I look at the plane, right? When I'm up in the plane, it's flat, bro. <laughs> you think so? I, I look at it every time. That Now that, that that was embedded in me. So the GoPro has a fish eye lens. Fish eye lens, Everything yeah. has a fish eye lens. Yeah. Why? That's another sketchy. Why? Why do you have a fish eye lens? When I look out by myself, so take your flat. Take your iPhone up there and take videos. Fish eye. fish eye lens. iPhone has a fish eye lens? I think it is. Uh, I'm no? pretty sure. Because like, yo, when I look out, it's flat. It is... Yeah, we have mountains and valleys and stuff like that, right? But it is a flat horizon. Yeah, but th- you're not up that high. How high are you? 14. Yeah, that's not high enough to see something. Pretty high. I did see a guy. No, I don't think so. Walk onto a plane, and he said to the stewardess, can I talk to the yeah, to I the know. pilot? You see that? And he's yeah, got, like, the phone in his pocket. Yeah, and, yeah. The, and the captain even says, are you filming me? He's like, no, 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 man, I'm not filming. He's like, listen, I just got one question for you. Is the earth round or flat? He said, I've been a pilot for 32 years, and I can tell you, the earth is flat. A hundred percent. It's not technically flat. We have a firmament. And then... I don't know. I don't, I'm not saying it's flat. I don't, I'm not I don't saying know. I, I don't think it even, nobody I'm knows. I'm just saying that nobody it's knows. plausible. I'm going to, I label a lot of shit it's as flat? plausible now. I don't know. You, you think, think it's so? flat? Yeah. Oh, yo, but like, shit, I, Andrew. I, I, but yo, I flew you one way. You think we landed on the yo, moon? No. no. I flew you one way. Luminary? Things a luminary? To Asia. Yeah. And I flew another way to Asia, I felt like. Like it's just. So how the fuck is it flat? Right? It's not something we land on. It's like a plasma type of thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see, know. You ever see you, you uh, the ISS? You follow the IS International Space Station? Fucking bullshit. Spa- what, you think that doesn't exist? No. Those pictures there, they never show the whole Earth. They don't, but Bro. it does look like there's curvature in the pictures to me. And they're far enough away to see. So, right, this might be a stupid question, but I'm a stupid guy. So, well, we have gravity. Don't say that. If there's ends of the Earth... What is holding everything? What is holding the oceans? It's not on? gravity, bro. Okay, so what is it? It's magnetism. Oh, explain it. Explain it. Ready? Magnet- ready? Ready? <laughs> it's back in metal. It's it is magnetism. <laughs> Newton, yo, we're going off of Newton's theory back in the day. Come okay, on. so what keeps it? What keeps the oceans from spilling off into space? 
The firmament. Well, that's that's up. <sighs> yeah. yeah well, oh, the firmament. We're oh, the firmament comes down at the edges of the earth. Yes. Oh. And that's why we're not, we're not allowed to go to Antarctica. Ah. Because the firmament is so close to the ceiling uh, that we'll be able to touch the firmament type of thing. Uh, what do you think that feels like? Apple pie? I don't know. So suppose it's like uh, Wakanda. No, no, it's, Wanda and like uh, Black Panther. You mean Wakanda? Wakanda. <laughs> what did I say? What Uganda. Say? Uganda's a real, a real, oh, a real Uganda. country. Wakanda. <laughs> I think you said Wakanda. Yeah. yeah, my bad. But yeah, Uber. 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 You like the wise. Yeah, you like the wise. I do like the wise. I guess. Mm. But yeah, yeah, supposedly that's what it is. That's why we're not allowed to go there. We'll be able to see the firmament. Hmm. And where Antarctica? Yeah, because the way it's like sloped around the world, so the sun, right? cycles the summertime will cycle around right us and and then when it goes further right what's further uh australia so australia has their summertime opposite when we're yeah, in our winter that's time. called northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere yeah but then one thing just tip off okay so the, the earth is flat but it's in a circular form it's not it's not a square no it's not a square so it's circular a firmament over it and then there's Supposedly something underneath us, mm. but it's not. It's earth. uh, it's turf. The aliens are hiding now underneath. They don't want us it's to a, see them. It's a ball, a, a ball know. pit. It's a ball pit <laughs> underneath us. There's a lot of. There's a lot of. I don't know. Well, it's deep because there's a well in Russia that is like six miles oh, deep you heard or something. About that? Yeah, remember they drilled to see how deep, and they yeah. heard noises, and it's got a cap on it now. Great okay, hill. They 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 put a microphone way down in there, and they heard all these crazy weird noises, yeah, and so then they, 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 they ran. <laughs> <laughs> it's like six miles. <laughs> Pull that up. How deep? The deepest well in the world is in definitely in Russia. Yeah, you're right. Though I think it's like I heard six that. miles they thought deep. They're like, "Yo, something. we found hell." Oh my god! Like, oh, yeah, they, man. they put a microphone down it and heard all kinds of weird noises. Rogers, oh mo. That's that's what they heard. <laughs> no, <stop>. <laughs> in terms of depth below the surface, the cow super deep, perhole borehole, <laughs> but hole Bore, borehole. SJ3 retains yeah, the world the, record the, at 1,200, 262 meters, 40,230 feet reached in 1989. Still the deepest artificial point on Earth. Bro, they ran. The way that they look scared, like I don't think they that, made that up. What does that um, translate to in miles? I think six miles. Oh, 7.6 miles. Wow. Damn. 7.6 miles. Yo, everything's a lot. Deeper bro. than the Mariana Trench. So Everything's a lie. Everything's a lie, bro. Our whole world's a lie. Uh, you gotta believe something sometimes, right? Well, so no. we're basically well, a big God. meteor floating through space. Then no, I don't think space. What about the other planets? Are they round? So wait, there's no space. If there's no, okay. So so then, all right. I did see a picture. I don't know if it's real. There they said space. they said there's a they, uh, one of our our satellites that we took we sent off in space, which she says doesn't exist. Well, took a water. picture of like our our like a. Uh, like our gal uh, solar system or something, and you and it pointed Earth out. It's like boom, that's Earth. It was like tiny little dot. It looked pretty round. Why does the sun look round? Why does the moon look round? Why does when we can see Mars when it's close enough or whatever planet mm -hmm. Renee shows me, it's round. Why are those round? But us, we're not fucking round. No luminary. So it's like we are round, but we're not. It's not what they're saying. Like the roundness is. Does it, dude, what I wish kind I had a of definition? Of it. We're not. We're round, but we're not. <laughs> we're, well, there's a firmament over That's us. That's like Roger. I there's don't a like guys, but I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the so girls hard too. To explain. Unless you, I don't know though. I don't know. I don't. But I believe everything else is that they fed us in our entire life was a lie. Mm. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not. That, that's what makes me lean more towards things. It's just I don't believe in any goddamn that's thing what the I government mean. says. Well, nothing. Know, I, well, yeah. 2020 woke up like. But isn't that part of maybe what they want to? And why isn't there a maybe. defector? You know what, what I'm saying? They why why, isn't, it, why no. isn't there a whistleblower? Why isn't one person in the government that knows come for, Well, there kind of was. The guy, the guy that Brogan has on his show, that, Bryce Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> no, that Rogan had Eddie on Bravo? his show. No, no, Rogan had on his show that worked at Area Fifty One. What was his name? Bob Lazar. Bob Lazar. And not Area Fifty One, but like one of those. Well, he's kind of a defector. No, he's got stuff that he's not supposed to talk so about. So Stephen, does, right? Stephen uh, Gear. Not supposed to talk about aliens mm -hmm. and shit. Stephen Gear is too. Who's Stephen Gear? He's another Richard Gear's brother. Stephen, you know who he is now. 
He's a you know he's another conspiracy guy that talks about aliens and all these other things. He's got a discography. Discography. There he is. Yeah, that's him. He saw. He saw. He he claims he saw an, uh, a UFO at close range when he was just eight years old. Yeah, I saw a dinosaur too when I was eight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's fascinated though. He's a, he's a good guy to he dive into. He saw another UFO and he's 18. Listen, I've seen shit in the sky that I can't explain. We all have. Oh, but I feel like it's explainable. Oh, let me tell you this. Oh God, then you just tell me they brought it up, right? So like, all right, so fasting, right? So I did a, I just did a fast right after Christmas from 25th to the 28th ish. Something like so that. What is that? Uh, fifty-six. A three-hour. No. Uh, three, seventy-two. A seventy-two. Yeah, 72. yeah, yeah. Wow. I did a seventy. Wow. I didn't go with seventy-two. Yeah. I did, did a seventy. I'll be. Day. I'll be honest, right? I did a seventy, not a seventy-two. Because you got of hungry. Course. Uh it was just that time in the morning. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna eat now. It's like I was ready to break my fast. Yeah. But I did it on a spiritual thing. So when my so I'm uh, June twenty-sixth, right? It's my birthday. So when your sun sign is in the moon phase, right? On astrology. You fast, right? No meats, no nothing. I just, I did a complete fast. I walk outside that morning on my, the, the way I was breaking my fast to do my prayers and a shooting star right when the moon was up because it was a cancer moon. Shoots right by. As soon as I open my door, I'm like, can't make this up. Mm. Yeah, it was one of the most magical, but like that supposedly acts as your like crystal oil inside of you. You ever heard of like the Kundalini? Kundalini yoga? Kundalini, yeah, like energy of the body, right? When you fast during these times, right, you activate your full body and you reactivate everything. What are you activating? Every, all dormant DNA, cells, everything. Mm, what does that you, do for you? Complete reju uh, rejuvenation of the body. Physically so if you see anything. a shooting star, it kind of has that effect? No, I didn't even know that. I just walked outside on the end of my fast. That's no, what I'm saying. Uh, but you said a shooting star has that effect on you or no are, oh no it just what? happened like when i was into my fast i like open my door there's a full moon out it was like six in the morning right the, the the cancer full moon was still out that was my that's my sun sign and a shooting star flies right by the first thing i see and i'm like you can't make this up and that's why when i try to say like i'm seeing stuff in my life that you just can't make up it's like that's it was it was a prime example right there and it just happened have you guys heard this? Uh, I just saw this guy the other day talking about it. Um, <laughs> because you mentioned birthday. The most attractive people in the world are born on five days. The 5th, the 14th, the 23rd. I don't know why it only gives those. Oh, shit. Hang on. What day are you born on? <laughs> Is his name What day are you born on? GG33. What day are you born on, bro? GG33. Huh? Are the most attractive people in the world. I know he is. Who? Oh. When were you born? It's stupid, bro. Get the Fifth, fuck out of here, dude. The 14th and the 23rd are the most attractive people. He said, he said dude, Find out. do the research all right. yourself. All right, all right. Can it. you look up uh, who, who, Holly Berry's birthday? <laughs> that you, that's your, that's, no, that I'm does just it. Saying. She does Holly it Berry, you? huh? I'm just saying. It's pretty good. Yo, oh. she is 100%. 14th! Wow. Oh, wow. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, uh, 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 shit. Uh, uh, Jessica Biel. Well, this is up oh, for, We have the same type up, of... Up we have the debate, same type. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Third. So that one missed third. it. Eh. All right. Soma Hayek. All right. <laughs> getting old school with that. What was it? The 5th, 14th, and 23rd. <clears throat> what are you? The 1st. June first. Did he say the first? Sec second. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> but you're naming just celebrities. What about just average, good-looking people? You know what I mean? Like, oh, I mean, who cares about them? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be harder to get just celebrities that follow those days. Where what do you just, mean, though? I don't, if you just they were like picked. A, if, they, if you just went through your Instagram and looked at. Be like that chick's hot. What's her birthday? You know, no, I don't know. May I guess maybe. All right, Frank, I'll do it now. Frankie, what dudes do you think are attractive? Yeah, not you, buddy. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. I don't Everybody's like got a theory. Mo- I don't like plus size models. I always say that if you say no. if you say anything with authority and confidence, people just Penelope fucking Penelope Cruz. She's the twenty eight. Nope. Hmm. 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 Uh, I don't um, believe that guy. Anyways, I know who you're talking about. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, that's Scarlett good. Johansson. Let's go with that's that. That's a good one. That's Get a good it. one. That is a good one. Lucy. That's where we're going to. 22nd. 22nd. Nope. Nope. Negative. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think this guy's a clown, bro. <laughs> I think the people are. Margot Robbie. Oh, good one. Good one. Second. Yep. <laughs> We only got one, but it was no, the first one. one, so I had hope. That did, though. I had hope. It I did. Like, oh, I'm shit. like, no way. I Cindy Crawford. Did. So that's classic. Cindy Crawford. That's a classic. Uh, that is a classic. Alexis, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? 20th. 20th. Negative. Yo. Negative. None, dude. None. He's putting it in, Alexis, Texas. Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> No good, no good. Put Jenny Lopez, Jennifer Lopez. Suppose he has a dude. Jennifer Lopez? Supposedly. Hell no, bro. Oh, she got, she got, that dude got 24th. Nope, that dude got ran through by so many, dude, so many other. Yeah, no way. All right, do, uh, do, do, who's 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 your go-to guy when you when you spank bank there, Raj? <laughs> Who is it? Ron, huh? Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. You like, you like those yeah. guys. Yeah. If, 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 stopped, right? is no, if this in... guy's birthday is on one of those days, bro, 12th. No, he's in prison for like did you, life, bro. Did you, did you stop? Porn for a bit. I'm back to it. Bro. The gay porn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gay Are porn. you back to it? I mean, I'm less than I was in my heyday, but I'm-, I'm My heyday. <laughs> I'm a horny dude, bro. What am I supposed to do with myself? Control what do you want me to do? You manifest everything when you when you. I when do you think it's bad it. for you. I don't think it's healthy. I don't think it's healthy for a relationship. Most of those girls are agree, human traffic. But I need it all the time, and my girl don't want to do it all the most time. So those, what do I do? No, control it. But why? Because it, it yeah, makes me more, a better person. One, most of those girls are human traffic. Two, but wait, say that. What? What? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the porn. porn the stuff. porn. Most yeah. of them are. I don't know about that. Yeah. I mean, they're like they're they're, they're character. They're they're like. Mm. Yeah, but most of me human traffic. I think a kid. maybe the young ones are. I don't know, but the the milk ones form. that are like uh, uh, have celebrities almost. Some mm. of them, right? Yeah. They got pocket pussies. So made that's out of that's your life. That's junk, your life right? force energy. You want to create anything in your life? I do think, that. and there are some studies on I, it. I think you're right, but I'm but you. there are you. also studies that, uh, on you. porn uh, porn per se. I think it's unhealthy. I do. I will say that there is the studies on the gray matter in your brain and how it affects it. But I do think nutting a good for couple you. times a day is good for you. It's good a for your prostate. A couple times a day? It's good for your prostate. A couple times a day. Look it up. It's good for your prostate. No. You don't think so? It's no. not good for your prostate? I think they it's good to release. Good no, no. My... It is good to release. There, There's a thing, right? Mm-hmm. But there's ages, right? You, so this goes with ancient, like, the Taoists, right? What mm-hmm. they believe in. So when you hit at certain ages, right? So when you're in your 20s, right? You, go, you can go couple times a month that's fine right then you hit the 30s right then it's like two wait, wait, to three. Wait. when you're in your 20s you only have sex a couple times a month no no, no to release oh. like that oh it could serve your sexual energy oh, I've been like your sexual energy life. is your your life force energy mm-hmm. that creates right it's, it's creation mm-hmm. you literally create kids with that right mm-hmm. therefore you harness that instead of releasing every time you can still jerk off but not release what? bring it up in you no, no, we talked about this before. No, you said, but you don't jerk off when you do that. That's all spiritual. I don't jerk off. So how, you just said you can still jerk off, but no, bring no, no, it up I, in you. No, no, no. I was just giving reference. That would just I piss don't. me off. That would just make me angry. Yeah. No, <laughs> but when you learn how to harness it and bring the sexual energy in and up to your pineal gland, my sock would be looking at me like, "Bro, what's up? Are you gonna fucking get the uh, get this done or what?" Yeah, <laughs> dude. I don't know. I'm with you. It took time. It took time for me. So wait, you're saying that you're completely abstinent of everything masturbation? Yeah, I won't porn or masturbation. I haven't watched porn in three years. Uh, I haven't masturbated in over a year. And before that year, it's probably only a couple of times with that me working on myself. Jeez, I don't know. I'm very good. And and so you that, think you're like, a you happier person? Your prostate yeah. okay? Yeah, your prostate's yeah, okay. getting no, back no, no, up. But, no, no, but it is good to release, though. No, no, no. There, there's times that it is good to release every month. So how do you do that if if, if you don't whack off? As of right now, I'm manifesting my life. 
what's about to unfold in my life is gonna be magical. And I'll explain it all when it when it all comes to fruition. But that's a part of my process right now. So you're manifesting your life. What are you thinking about when you're choking the chicken? I don't choke the chicken anymore. <laughs> So how do you, how do you release one? one, one? Yeah, well, I haven't released it mad long. Like, but, but I had a girlfriend for a year, which I was doing it there. But like, no, I won't do it for a minute. I'm crazy. I understand your perspective. Like, on you don't have. Porn. A, 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 have you ever that. had? A, have you ever had? I do a, agree. Have you ever had a, a wet dream? Never. I mean, oh, I have. No. Because have. you don't fucking nut, bro. That's no. why your body's like, I gotta get rid of this. Never. Once in the military. I never have. They're called succulents too, though. So the wet dreams are like not actually good, succulents. No, Why part of the evil good? side. Yeah, yeah. They want to drain your life force energy, and what they do, succulents. That's why you call on your power before you go to bed, to God. Yeah, but I'd be. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Yeah. You gotta yeah. break the cycle. I'd be dead. You've been doing it for forever. You said it bro, it makes it, 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 it populates the earth, bro. I just feel. I yeah, just but go you're to sleep. releasing off a of porn every day. That's of your bad. Life. That. That's bad yeah, because here's that. why that's bad. Here's why that's bad. I'm saying nothing. And period. I 100 percent agree with you that porn is bad. And here's nothing. why it's bad because it gives you unrealistic expectations of your significant other if you're in a relationship. Yeah. You think you can do you know like porn star shit with them. It's not realistic and it's bad. And I do believe it contributes to gray matter breakdown in your brain. I agree with that. So I do think it's bad, and I should be absent of that. I don't think jerking off in itself, per se, I didn't say that was is bad. I didn't say yeah. that. I said that there's a certain time for certain males that when they hit certain ages to mm. not do it as much. I got to keep this prostate. So healthy, when you're buddy. forty, you know, agreed. Have you ever had a prostate orgasm? Well, let's let's what? Uh, let's work Wait, out. What? Have you? Let's, well, what? Let's have work you? out a deal right now. What, have how, you? How do you have a prostate? I've never had one. How do you I will have a look prostate? You, but that's, that's a part Roger of the deal. Roger must have given it. He did. He did. Look at him. <laughs> this he is, did. This is a part of what the Taoist. What was his name? This is, yeah, this wow. is a part of the Taoist like, uh, monk life, right? What? It, but how do you... It's, it's through I anal. Through your it. ass, right? Yeah. You've, never done, you've never done... You've never prostate I've never done it. milked yourself? Uh, no, I want to, though. All right. You want me to tell you the gayest thing I've ever done? What? Frankie should have broke right up for that one. Yeah. So, um, bro, what you're talking about? Yo, for real. <laughs> but that's a certain type of orgasm. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, it's guys definitely, have it's it. definitely the fruitiest thing I've ever done. Guys right? have it. This this friend swears that you'll feel amazing if you give yourself a coffee enema, and I'm like, and he's like. He's like a fucking man's man. I'm like, what do you mean a coffee? I'm like, how do you, do you go to a place and they do it? He's like, no, you buy the kit off Amazon. Yeah. He's like, bro, I'm telling you, you do it and it, it will cleanse your whole fucking system and you'll feel your skin will look better. You fuck it. So I was like, all right, I'll give it. I did it. <laughs> I'll never do it again. I did it in my once. It was the most I'll weirdest never thing. Do it again. I, I, you did, I felt like I the weirdest you did a coffee in the world. Coffee in it. You just sit I never in the tub, did a coffee one. Put a little tube in your fucking yeah. butt. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and I'll never do it again, bro. I will never I did it do once, it again. though. Why, why, why won't you do it again? Because I don't think it worked. I didn't feel any better. He liked it. He liked any, it. No. Any, he liked well, it. wouldn't I do it all the time if I liked it? No. But all the things he said to... I would get from it, I didn't get any of it. So I'm like, mm. why would I do this? Because you probably, <laughs> <laughs> probably did it wrong. But <laughs> Well, I did a salt water one, and I like, bro, it was the most weirdest thing ever. Did I, you like, buy the kit off Amazon like me? Yeah, I yeah, I hung it up in the shower. Yeah, you hang the bucket I'm on, on the I'm shower. like, I'm like, yo, yo, I couldn't do it. I felt yes, so, <laughs> so not a meal because I, I think this is a program. That's why. <laughs> I just feel like that's just a part of our program. We, yeah. we were never taught that, so that anything going in there mm. is frowned upon. And I, that's the way I looked at it. I I did it. I'm like, I... That's why Roger did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, supposedly that's how you get rid of men's prostate cancer. You need to have that massaged by your female, not by a male. Wait, uh, listen, I'm not calling you out, and I certainly wouldn't say any names. What, didn't I have an ongoing joke with one of your exes that she used to do that to you? No, she tried to put a finger in my butt, right? I let her once. Right? Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, no, I, I had her, an ongoing I joke. I let her put the finger in my butt once, and I felt <laughs> so weird. It didn't feel right. I said, instantly out. It was out. So then, wait, wait, prostate massage. How do you, how do you, I mean, I don't know. So supposedly Just, up. It's Renee. Really, what, it's up and up in, bro. What? By, by your Nifkin area. Nifkin? What the, the taint, fuck? The taint. The taint. The taint. So it's up and in, and you like massage that area, and you'll have the best orgasm of your life. 
I just can't do it. I couldn't I think do it either. Ma- Listen, I think you got to be really, really open minded. I was open minded. It's in uh, uh, Fuck, America was Pie, a- right? Stifler, then Stifler. Stifler did or what, it. Yes. What, what movie is that? Yes. Yes. America did- Pie, bro. Stifler no, did it. I don't, I don't think, think it was no, America he was in Pie. a different That's movie. That's where he banged the Road pie. Trip. Road Trip or Road something. Road Trip, was it? Yeah. My oh, you yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah. It was a dude that banged the chick with the huge cheetah panties. Is that yeah, road yeah, trip? that's road trip. Yeah, road trip. Yeah. Bro, but th- supposedly that that's that's the way we get rid of prostate cancer as males. That's why it's so high. We were never taught that. Wait, so wait, you're saying that we should be comfortable with our girls milking our prostate? I'm not comfortable with that, man. I'm not. Oh, neither was I. I never said I was, but I'm saying oh, yeah. that's a, that's a I thing in the towel. Even when she gets in that area, I'm a little. I do a little clenching. I'm a little nervous. The th- the, that's what the yo. Know, they say that that's why we have prostate cancer so high in America. So in other countries, why? they, 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 they milk prostates yeah. regularly. Really? How? <laughs> the Taoist monk preach about this. They, they, that's like. Yeah, but they the, they don't partake in anything sexual, do they? No. Yeah, they do. They, they teach do? about sex, sex, sexual alchemy. White tantra is the way of life. Oh. White Tantra is the way you have orgasm, like I was saying, bring it up in you. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. When you bring it up into your, your head and you release there instead of well, out here I, all I, the time. The first time you said that, I was confused because I thought you were talking about like internally nutting or something. You don't actually nut when you do this internalizing thing. Internalizing, it's more no. of a feeling without but, ejaculation, correct? Yep. Okay. But when but you, you do still that- have the orgasm. You don't, but you you have an orgasm. Oh, but not physically. Nothing. Not you're like not... not coming out of you. Okay. Instead, it's Just coming within. But we were never taught this. No, I definitely wasn't. Nobody was. I don't think you're supposed all. to be taught this. Mm. Yeah, why? Why? Because why? you're fucking nut to have kids. Mm. That's why we have nut that yeah. comes yeah, out but, of us. Oh uh, yeah, for yeah. that's for having kids. That's for that. But the, if you could bring it up in you and right use that sexual energy for something else. I don't know. What are you using that energy for? Manifestation. Okay. Or whatever you want in life. Okay. That's what I'm doing right now. All right. I'm I have big goals this year. So you're not, you, you don't care if you get prostate cancer though? Cause you're not no, no, no. I would like to experience that. I'm not going to lie. Frankie? I'm not, yo, I swear on everything. I I would love to experience it, but I feel fucking weird. Well, stop Chushy, kicking girls out of there. Shuji put the finger in there years ago, bro. I just felt yeah. like I was not a man. <laughs> like I don't like. Uh, I, mean, I, 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 I instantly like, shut it down. So you have a hard on, right? You start. You have to have a hard on. Supposedly, yes. I would assume. Because I, I think as soon as someone sticks a finger in your butt, <laughs> right. I still yeah. have that hard on. That's, That's what, what I felt. <laughs> That's what I felt. I was like, this is not natural. This is not good. Get it out of there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I do think, I don't. and Frankie, you've been with somebody the longest, so you tell me if you agree. The longer you're with somebody, the more maybe you're down to like experience something new because it's like you've done everything already, you know what I mean? So, But I don't know about the milk and the look prostate. At, look into White Tantra. Mm. Just look into it. This is like a new age. And Andrew, like, would you be down with uh, your wife milking your prostate? No. No. Nobody would because we weren't taught that, bro. We're Americans. <laughs> well, yeah, but you're you're uh, yeah, usually every a, a other... do what you preach type of guy, and ah, you're not down with it. Because uh, because uh, we were, it, I'm, I had to break these old patterns. Mm. That's all it is. Hmm. Supposedly it's the best one, and like that will prevent uh, prostate cancer. Hmm. Well, jerking off also. No, no, no. That, he, that Andrew, actually, looked, like, Andrew looked up the stat one time in the air. I forget what. The, can you pull that up again? How much that reduces the, the your chances? There was it was a fairly significant percentage, and I forget what it was. Might lower your odds of getting prostate cancer, but it doesn't give a percent. <laughs> Yeah, that one says it hasn't yet. They haven't seen any studies. But these are just random people. Look for actual data. These are just people weighing in. That's in the Harvard study. Four to seven ejaculations a month. Across the lifetimes, men who ejaculated 21 times or more a month enjoyed a, th- does that say 31? 
31 percent lower risk of poverty. That's a significant number. That's nice. Significant. For <laughs> ages. Jesse goes, uh, Jesse goes. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Harvard saw a fucking sounded, cop. He sounded like that Virginia governor. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice. When the baby is born, we take no, care of the baby. No, heck no. Don't compare me to that guy. <laughs> you see that, Frankie? Compared to men who report, reported four to seven ejaculations per month across their lifetimes. It's lifetimes. Harvard, I've Harvard. been drugging off for 35 years. Men who ejaculated 21 or more times a month enjoyed a 31% wow. lower... I'm going to jerk off right now. I'm good, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm good. All right. You be you be happy with your prostate cancer over here while I'm running around healthy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's crazy. That is wild. I don't know. I don't believe anything in Harvard, though. I don't believe anything on the internet, but that sound. I believe, you know what? I believe Harvard. Shit, shit that works in my favor. That's what I believe. I know. <laughs> we realize the school injuries. Oh, did you guys up. know Connor sold Proper 12? Yeah, his liquor. He sold it. Oh, he sold it. Sold it to a big, big liquor company. He was a partner in it. I think he had two other partners. That's he, the name of the game. All these celebrities. That's what everybody does. He sold it to Proximo Spirits for an estimated, not just him, because he had partners. Six hundred million. What the rock, I think the Rock sold his too. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of his uh, tequila? What I is it? I don't fuck with him. I don't fuck with him No, that, that's a. Uh, I used to love him. Yeah, I've just seen. Um, I don't trust him. Mm. Terramana, yeah. Uh, since we're talking about. Jerking off and sexual related stuff and porn. Our boy, uh, or Frankie's boy, Tyrone Woodley, just made a porn. Did you see that? No, I have no clue. I don't think he put it out there. Somebody did, though, of him going down on an un unidentified woman. Oh, There's no. a video on Twitter. It's all over Twitter of him going down on this girl. They say it. It could be his ex-wife, and it could be his girlfriend. Nobody knows. Oh, but. yeah, dude. But it looked like he was, like, posing for it, right? Wasn't he? Yeah, I mean, did he want it to get leaked? You know, like who knows? Yeah, who knows? But we got this. kids and shit. Dude, <laughs> That's too. that would be the bothersome part for me. Everything yeah. else, who cares? You know, who cares? If you've ever sent a dick pic to a girl in your life, you can probably expect for it to be on the internet someday. You know what I mean? Like, let's the people do whatever they want with shit. So, what you saying? If you, if you have, if you've sent a oh, dick sent pic, yeah, or yeah, if yeah. a girl has sent you a. I mean, I think there's pretty lax laws about posting stuff. The mm. only case I ever heard of, which was a nightmare for the family, was that guy that had the website. But it was it, it, it wasn't he stole it from her. He hacked her like um, iCloud or something. That's why he got busted. But if people have nudes of you, they can basically put it on the fucking internet. It don't matter. It don't matter. Nobody ever gets in trouble for it. Mm. I know there's been a couple websites shut down. Revenge Porn, I think, was one of them, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they made that a law. Yeah, and then the, and then there was a uh, that girl whose family, but but he hacked her. I think it was her iCloud and technically stole it. You know, it was she didn't send it to anybody. She just took it for herself. But they went through hell to take that down. Who? Uh, the that girl yeah. and her family went through like so much litigation and so much money to get that down and end up suing and and got. A, I think they got a significant payout and had the site shut down and mm. it was a real scumbag of an individual i mean you got to be you know listen we're all in relationships right you want to do something scummy to an ex-girlfriend or an ex-boyfriend or whatever that's different than hacking some innocent person's private stuff and posting it you know what are you doing some day trading over there no i'm looking at weight classes for my kids <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting <laughs> we can wrap it you want to wrap it yeah let's wrap it up buddy let's wrap it buddy all right, Jesse, well, you're the man. Let's tell yeah. tell the people some positive. Uh, Shout out your boy Soap over here. I guess he's sponsoring you now. Yeah, he's helping. The, he wants to help the charity out. Oh shit, Pop, Pop, my man Tommy Askoff. <clears throat> Yo, Thomas, yeah, from Savvy Soap, really freaking natural. Nah, but he is. He's gonna help me out. So my light, uh, my code is light, capital letters, um, and we'll go back to my charity. Oh, you have a discount uh, code. So yep. if you if you Light. order savvy soap, it's called. Yep. 
uh, and you want to use Jesse's promo code, it is L I G H T. Yep. Okay. There you go. And then uh, that will go back to my charity. I never raised money yet. He wanted to help me out with it. Um, Let's talk about your charity briefly. So what Jesse does, if you guys don't know, Jesse is a combat wounded vet, fully fully uh, disabled combat wounded vet, uh, served our country proudly over in Iraq. Um, but now his passion uh, turned into skydiving, and then uh, he built on the, the love and the passion for skydiving and has now opened up his own charity, which will take any – is it any service member or only combat wounded vet? No, I, I open up to everybody. To any any uh, service veteran that has ever served, if you contact Jesse through his charity, Team Fight for Flight, um, which you have an Instagram, I believe, dedicated I to that. That's usually mine, yeah. And you're in the New Jersey area and you would like to go out for a skydive, his charity will, will take you up and he will actually jump with you. Not attached to you, but he will probably videotape the thing for you. Yep. So and pretty cool. A hundred percent. So yeah, this is my first time uh, someone reached out to me and wanted to do that for me, which is cool. I mm -hmm. never raised money yet. I've been funding it myself my, this entire time. That's awesome. But I know God is good and God takes care of me no matter what. And that's my belief, right? So it's just like, but this year will be another year for evolution, not just with veterans, right? I want to take other people with mental disabilities and all these other things that need just an outlet, right? A nice reset, a good reset for themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's what, I, that's what I'm going to gear it towards. Very cool. Could I go with you and look at porn on the way down? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Check go. us out. Champ of the Tramp. Love you. Later. Peace. Bye. Guys, just a reminder, don't forget to find and follow us on YouTube, Rumble, Instagram, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and most other podcast platforms.